Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome back to another stream! And the first episode of the first stream of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth! How's everyone doing today? We got a Q and Succulents. Glad to see you guys. Thank you for stopping on. Bye! Always wow. glad to have you. Wow! Nice. Nice. <laughs> if that's how we're gonna start every stream, that'd be a good start to the stream. That'd be a very good start to the stream. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna play some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. The second part of the Final Fantasy VII, like, remakes, which I'm very excited. I'm very excited to, uh, see what this is going to be, uh, gonna, gonna be like. Because I've never actually played Final Fantasy VII, like, the, uh, the original. I've never actually played the original version of Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, like, I've seen things about it. Like, I've seen people play it. I've seen, uh... Not like little like clips of it, things like that. But yeah, I've never personally ever played Final Fantasy VII, and so uh, I'm very excited to see you know, like experiences for myself. Especially considering this remake is oh oh the first part of this remake was beautiful. So just two out of three, probably I think I, I guess I, I don't know how they're splitting all these uh, these games apart, but uh, I, I do know that this is going to start off like I did play Final Fantasy VII. A remake, the, the first part, like a year ago, or like two years ago. It's been, it's been like two years ago now, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I love the, uh, the way that they changed all the other fighting. Like, it's more live-action fighting instead of the ATB that they had before, because, like, I don't know. I've never been a fan of the ATB style. Having to wait X amount of time before being able to do an attack, is it's like, bruh, at least do something. Like, I can either guard, attack... Or, uh, you know, like, I don't have one option per turn in the original. But in this one, it's like, okay, I can actually move around. I can do regular, you know, basic attacks. And then, like, after so much time has passed, I can then do the, uh, the, the powerful attacks. Which, that feels so well-balanced. <laughs> like, I just did not like the having to wait X amount of time before doing anything. That just was so boring. It was just so boring to me. So, uh... I'm so glad that they did the uh, this remake, updated all of Final Fantasy. It makes it look way better. <laughs> like, my god. The the design in this game is, is just beautifully done. Absolutely beautifully done. And so I'm very excited. Very excited to see what the second part of the story is going to be. I, I do know uh, we're, we're leaving Midgar. That was the very end of the Final Fantasy VII remake. It was uh, leaving Midgar. <laughs> Which... It was just basically like the first little area in the original game. So, uh, considering they was able to like flesh that out to being like a, uh, like a 40 hour game or something like that, like a 30, 40 hour game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, we'll see how much of, uh, of this we've got. How, how much larger this one is. Because, I mean, from what I do know about Final Fantasy VII is the, uh, after you leave Midgar, it's like an entire open world map. So, we might be having some like crazy, uh... <laughs> We, we might be able to be go into some crazy areas, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Either way, I'm excited. As always, let me know how the audio is and uh, things like that. Because, you know, <laughs> I, I haven't loaded this game up. Have not loaded this game up. Bonuses? 
Uh, playing various versions of the game to claim these bonuses confirm the eligible save data. Uh, rebirth the demo. I have not done that. The remake. I did do that. And uh, episode Final Fantasy Seven R episode intermission. Oh, that's the uh, other one. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I did those ones. So yeah, I got the remake and the intermission. I did all that. So got Leviathan and Ramu. Cool. Nice. 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 But yeah, let me know how the audio is. I did change my audio back. <laughs> I I forgot to do it last night, but uh, I remember this morning to change my audio back so that it's back to normal. Silent Hill. Yesterday when we played a one-off of Silent Hill, game was so quiet. Uh, okay, I definitely want to change this to uh, the performance instead of graphics, but sharp or smooth? Uh, let's go with sharp. I like a good sharp design. Uh, but yeah, audio, let me know how it's all going. Transmission, dialogue, playback. Let's go with standard speakers. I don't really like my controller talking to me. Seems weird. <laughs> Did I forget to change the Twitch title game? Ah, uh, thank you, Minkyu. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, was a bit busy last night. Was a bit busy last night, so not too surprising that I forgot to do all of that. Um, I forget what I, but it's like, hold up, hold up. Let me go back in here. I do wish that thing would auto-change, unless I changed it within, like, the last, mm, like, hour or so, but <laughs> weird. Is weird. See, we're not playing that. We are not playing Silent Hill anymore. And copy that over. Pointy hair. Anime boy hours. Let's go! Oh, I didn't mean to close all, all, all that. Whoops. Whoops-a-daisy. Uh, yes, yes. That's the thing about, like, with YouTube, I get to just, like, make a, a thing, right? I just get to make a, uh, uh, a waiting room, and then we're good to go. But with this, it's, <laughs> it's a little, little, little different. Okay, that should all be fine. Uh, yeah, there we go. And save settings. Okay, so yeah, now it should be back to Final Fantasy VII Reaper. Thank you, Minkyu. <laughs> I don't know, that is all, yeah, like with YouTube, you just get to be like, hey, this day I'm playing this, and you make a waiting room. You make the, the like, stream thing. With Twitch, it's just like you go to twitch.tv backslash skyaxons, and then that's just where I'm going to be streaming all the time. So it's easier on Twitch, but at the same time, you get moments like that where like, ah, I'm scheduling things out, and <laughs> it, I forget to change it because... I don't have to do one on the other one. But oh well, whatever. Whatever. We've fixed it. Thank you, Minkyu. Yet again. Appreciate you. But uh, yeah, let me know how audio is. Uh, I'm going to just leave all the, uh, the the voiceover and everything into English. Because I think that's what I did in the first one. Combat style. Oh, I can even change this to the classic. Wow. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Even So if you do like the original style of Final Fantasy VII, you can at least change that. Um... The rest of this, I mean, probably minimap. Uh, I, I, static. Just go with static. I, I think. I don't know. Usually, I like a static minimap. Sometimes rotation is is nice, but it depends. World navigation display. Well, I don't. Track will appear at the top of the screen while exploring the world at large. Minimap will appear at the top right corner of the screen. While oh, okay. So we got like a compass, or we got a minimap, huh? Interesting. Location, navigation displays, a minimap. Uh, that should probably be fine. Subtitles. I mean, yeah. Uh, motion sensors are a function. Let's turn that off. Generally, like, whenever I'm playing games, I, I like, move my controller around a little bit. And <laughs> it doesn't... Yeah, that, that doesn't work out. It doesn't really work out whenever uh, I'm trying to, like, it, it moves my camera or whatever. Not a fan, not a fan. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, camera, probably gonna need to change, like, the sensitivity and all this stuff, but not too worried about that at the moment. Screen shake, uh, sure. That's probably fine. Probably, probably fine. Sky! Yo, what's up, brother, Doom? Welcome on, I'm glad to see ya. Thanks for stopping on by. Yeah, but we're just starting. Did a little bit of options, looking around, changed some settings on Twitch, because I forgot to do that. But, uh, yeah, now we're ready to start off the, uh, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I mean, we already checked this, but... Okay, yeah. <laughs> we already checked that. Camera controls, yeah, default. Wireless control speaker, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, difficulty, we'll just go normal. It's like, uh, yeah, active combat. I do not want, uh, the classic control. Not a fan! Hey yo! Oh, this is the... Yeah! This is the end of, uh... 
Final Fantasy remake, of, of the first part of this remake. God, that looks very good. But yeah, like, we were just controlling Cloud here, doing all of this, uh, attacking all of the Shinra soldiers, and Barret and Tifa, and Aerith, they were all in that truck going out. And then we fought Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Yeah, we fought him at the very end. Just like how the original was. Just like how the original was. That seems very loud on my side, but I don't know if that's just on I'm my here side. On the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. Tee hee, did we do that? The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Whose funeral is it? Shinra's. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Crazy. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the. <laughs> Watch where you're going, reporter dude. Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. Whoa, that looks so good. Holy shit. Zero, one, and two. This game is very pretty. After I even have the set to uh, performance to over graphics. Declaring the tornado to be quote, weather warfare, <laughs> perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. Bro, imagine being able to control tornadoes. also suspects the involvement of Wutai. And has begun investigations into the matter. Damn it, Wu Tai! Why is it always Wu Tai? I mean, I guess kind of considering we played a little bit of uh, Yuffie at one point as well. Though she wasn't exactly in our party, wasn't in our main party. Ah, but I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this game ever since I played the uh, the first part of the remake, and now it's finally out. Shinra Electric Power Company. That looks so good. It's so hard to do smoke and like particle effects as well. But wow, that looks really good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it looks really good. That's as smoky as uh, Silent Hill should have been last night. But it wasn't. Damn. Materia. Energy. Mako. What? Yeah, that's what it's called. That like steam like energies is Mako. Materia are those like gems that we got. But yeah, at the very end of the last one, of the remake part one, we were able to escape out of Midgar. Oh yeah, and we saw this little like flashback with Zack or, or something. The original owner of, well, not the original owner, but the uh, the one who had the Buster Sword that Cloud got from. Uh, also, since the last time that we played this, we have played the uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which... Uh, was, we were uh, able to play as Zack there. Just, ah, so nice. It was so, so nice being able to, like, dip our toes into that a, a little bit as well. Zack, me boy! Zack, me boy! Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... the we fall already saw that. What are we seeing it again for? That tornado really did a number on the city. Boy, oh boy. Oh, it's Kyrie. She's got a design, which I remember her. Very, very, very cute. As you can see, You're like a punk style, and I'm all for it. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, one kilometer. Rescue operations are already in progress. And <laughs> a giant crane that's just a hand. It's kind of interesting. Oh, that's classified information. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier armed with a Buster sword. Hmm. I've got one of those. Back over here. I've got a Buster Sword. Oh, it's Barrett the team and Tifa. From the Quick, get the camera off him. Oh, and there's Red as well, the doggo. Come on. What's his name? Red Thirteen. It's been a minute. I kind of forget. Sar. Oh, and there's Aerith. <laughs> Get out of here, you damn paparazzi! This is interesting. I didn't expect. Like I thought this was just like. A <laughs> I expected this to be uh, like a, like a flashback that Zach was here, but I thought Zach was actually dead. I mean, it's possible they could have done all sorts of things in the remake. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. I know he's wearing soldier outfit, but... 
Zack! Oh, are we actually gonna be able to control Zack right now? Because, I mean, Cloud's kind of unconscious and everyone got kidnapped. I don't know, man. It's, it feels like Zack's still alive right now. Hey, Red's going after him. You know, Red, you might not want to attack the pilot because of that. Okay, all right. Well, shit. I guess we're playing as Zack now. All right, I'm not going to complain about that. I was expecting more of uh, Cloud Strife action, but I mean, I'm not going to complain about getting back into the uh, the true soldier first class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, we, we know from uh, whenever we play Crisis Core that Cloud is not really soldier first class. He's, uh... <laughs> he's like Zack's biggest fanboy. But, uh... Eh, that's about that. Your tape can't stop me, I can walk around it! Yeah, I don't know, the game feels like it's kind of loud on my side, but, uh... I'm looking at the, like, OBS, like, audio, and it seems like it's pretty fine over there. HVTs! The, uh, that audio is kind of quiet, but, um... <laughs> yeah, we are. And there they are. But yeah, like, the, uh, the audio seems like it maybe... Maybe you should turn that down a little bit. Uh... I can't. Okay. Guess we're just not gonna do that right now, then. <laughs> oh, it's one of those things as well. I remember fighting these, uh... The, those sort of, like, mecha things. I don't know if it was that big, but... That mutt's got a name! I think... I don't know if we was able to name him in this one. I'm pretty sure we had to, uh... Get away! From her. Get away. Combo charge. And, okay, yeah, so, yeah. Triangle is my, um... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, triangle is my, um... Little, like... Uh, like special attacks. It's like my skills, right? And I think I gotta like wait for a certain charges for those things to get done. But square, I can just use it as long as I wanna. Start swinging this big old hunk of iron around. Thinking, I'm not good at that. Yeah, okay, sure. As if you haven't been- Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> nice. Yeah, for real. I was just like, oh, there's a pipe there. What are you going to do with that pipe? On, I guess you that's what you're going to do with that pipe, huh? Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, like, yeah, we got, we got like, these uh, triangle-like special attacks. So I don't mind having to, like, wait for those attacks, right? Can I... Do I have, like, a dodge, I wonder? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Get out of here. You ain't shit compared to me. What's up, Arkham Kratos? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Aerith Red! <laughs> I like how Red's unconscious again. Ah, uh, Zack and Aerith meeting up one more time. But yeah, I'm confused. I thought that... <laughs> I thought he was dead. I thought Zack was dead. Thank you, random doggo. I don't know who you are, though. But I do know who Aerith... Aeris! Whatever you want to call her. I know her. Must protect. Where's the ancient? I shipped those two for... Oh yeah, the ancient. But yeah, like, I'm definitely a, a Cloud X Tifa kind of guy. Because Zack and Aerith, that's the, that's, the, that's the winning combination. Oh, it's raining now. Terrible day for rain. Fortnite this Clone Game on Saturday stuff. called Farlight 84 and I enjoyed it. Nice. Not huge on Fortnite or Battle Royales anymore. Not a fan of shooters. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Zack's back, baby! God, I hope so. Bro, that was... Her, her cheek actually, like... Like, like, it moved. The skin actually, like, moved whenever he, like, wiped it. That's some attention to detail. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. She only was, you know, crash-landed on a, uh... Yeah, this plane just kind of exploded. Crash-landed. I'm sure she's fine. Audio seems pretty okay. Thank you, Minkyu. I don't know why it's loud on my side, then. It's very loud on my side. That'll just make me need to speak louder then, I guess, though, huh? But yeah, I... All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. I'm so confused. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... 
Nibble region five years ago. Five. Oh. Sixteen at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little there was was boring as hell. It's kind of. um wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. Yeah, they're talking about like the events of Crisis Core. I couldn't believe my luck. Well, the end of it. Chapter one: Fall of a Hero. I mean, I'm okay playing that part again, considering it is very important to Cloud's story. It's really coming down, huh? He was not wearing this outfit, though. Yeah, in Crisis hey, Core, we get to see the... Feeling any better? Yeah, in Crisis Core, we saw the real part of this. I'm good. Which is Zack doing all of this. <laughs> and Cloud just being there with... Like, I think that soldier right there was Cloud. Help, never been motion sick. Sorry, man. You're not even acting like Cloud. You're acting way more like Ready Zack. Yeah, yeah, one of these, like, regular Shinra soldiers was Cloud. And, uh... The, the, the Cloud that we see right here was actually Zack. Things you know if you play the, the Crisis Core here. Yeah, doing the squats! You're doing the squats again! Uh, Zack loved his squats. Hey. Rain it in. Set so wrong! No can do. Kids. <laughs> Back whenever Sephiroth was a hero, Say, one of the good guys. I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Aw, but I like the Turks. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. This is so out of character for Cloud. <laughs> it just feels well, so out of character. Mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Clouds are emo boy. Another one of those Turks gigs. <laughs> uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Out here in the Got sticks. We ran an armored truck. We can probably run him over. I was talking Let's about go. some sort of like giant. <laughs> eh, I mean, they're fairly big. What is those pus things, though? Ah, the Udachi. A much cooler blade. Take the other. Okay. Man, that one's already dead. Sephiroth! Come on, Cloud. Come on. You're better than this. <laughs> How do you ever make Soldier first? Wait in the truck. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah? Wait, are we gonna... Oh my god, we're playing as freaking Sephiroth now. Okay. Well, that's cool. All of my, like, triangle attacks were, uh, changing. Interesting. Disgorgon defeated. Whoa, <laughs> that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Sephiroth! Playing as... I did not expect to play as him, though. Holy shit. He was in a different league from the rest of us. That's a true soldier first class right there. Unless he's got, the, like, the cat eyes. Oh, you love it. You gotta love it. Barrett. Calm. It's a very Evil fun Han. town name. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Wouldn't Tifa have some like strange new monsters on the mountain? Because she knows what actually happened. Made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Wow, stroke your ego more, Cloud. <laughs> Even though you're misremembering the facts. But yeah, like, Tifa, she was there. She should remember what happened. She, she should be like, that's kind of true, but also kind of not true. Home 
sweet home, right? True. It's a nice little village. Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Nah, he's such a likable guy right now. You still got parents, though, right? Hmm. A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. Then I guess you don't still have her, huh? Whoa there. Whoa. Genova? Like from the syrup <laughs> Bear just pausing yeah. the flashback. <laughs> don't worry. I'm getting to that. I love him. I love him. Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Everyone's so out of character right now. Sephiroth laughing and talking about things. Oh, are we getting Cowboy Tifa? Oh. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. Hey, I Tifa. I to you myself to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Hmm. Nintendo ending 3DS and Wii U online services? Yeah, I heard about that. I don't, uh... Consider yourself off duty till sundown. I don't use either of those though, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. Sad though for anybody that still plays on the 3DS or the Wii U. There's three people that have a Wii U. <laughs> What's up, Maya? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Okay, finally we can open up the main menu. And yeah, I do have... I can enlarge this? Oh, interesting. Um... So, so we circled rope forward to jump over certain terrain. Okay, so that's my jump button and all that. Cool. I do want... Where are we? <laughs> what is this background? Uh, oh, and I can also, like, do a photo mode. Not gonna do that, but... Level 40 already. I don't actually know how high of a level I was whenever I beat the game... Uh, the, the first part of this game, but... that's eh, probably pretty good enough. Resume playing for the most recent checkpoint? That's cool. Unless I got 2,000 money. Zenny, I think. Um... I do have... Oh, gotta finish chapter one before I can claim my bonus items. Gotcha. I do want to change the audio a little bit because I feel like the music's just a little overpowering. Like, everything else seems pretty okay, but like... Like, yeah, I, I want to turn that down a little bit. Uh, certain songs and cutscenes, just turn that down one. May as well. And then everything through the... Uh, the speakers, the, the actual in-game speakers instead of my controller. That's just weird. Well, yeah, 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 let's see how that goes. Let's may as well save. First, uh, 30 minutes. Nice. Fall of a hero. But yeah, like, there's so many, like, things about this that we, we do know. Like, I mean, I, I know a fair amount of Final Fantasy VII, considering, despite never playing it, I have watched a bunch of things about it. You know, uh, I've been thinking about joining the military for some time now. If you need help, just say the word. Nice. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, like, when we played through Crisis Core, we went through this little section right here, but, uh, <laughs> it was completely different from how Cloud's recalling it. But, uh, you'd think that Tifa would also know that. Like, she'd be like, ah, I do remember you guys coming through. I, I do remember uh, Sephiroth, the, the, you know, the war hero Sephiroth coming through, but it wasn't you that was walking around in soldier uniform, Cloud. <laughs> Are you like a famous person? Yes, I am. I am Sky Axons from YouTube and Twitch fame. Haha. -ha. Treasure. I'm stealing your shit. Mega potion. Hell yeah. Hey. Look at all those chickens. Wow. <laughs> Anything else around here that I can steal? I mean, uh, liberate. Ha 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 ha. Did you come from Midgard too? Uh, kind of. Kind of, I, I guess. Wow, is this the new Trezor Code Steel game? Indeed. What's up, glistening? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Now, we're playing Final Fantasy VII, The Rebirth, second part of the remake, and I'm very, very excited to play this, considering it has been, uh, it's been a, a long time coming. A very long time coming since I was able to play this. But yeah, we, uh, I, I did a poll in my Discord, and, uh, the poll ended up with a like. It was very, like, a tight race. It was like 9, or 8, 9, 10. Where, um, uh, Cold Steel got 8 votes. Um, Dragon Quest 11 got 9 votes. And then we had, uh, we had Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth with the, with the 10 votes. So, here we are. Getting your bearings. Use, okay, so I can press that to view the map. That's cool. Yeah. Nice little map of the area. I appreciate are we going to reminisce about things up here on this water tower? 
So how did it feel being back up there? I guess Tifa doesn't remember or she didn't. I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. Hmm. After two years away. Maybe she didn't even see Cloud. I don't remember. All these people speaking at once, yeah, for real. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people in my ear at the same time, and I'm trying to have my own conversation. Like, whoa, stop. Calm down. It's like walking through an actual town. Ah, spiky boy anime hair. Literally impossible to get. And you know what? That's okay. Imagine people was actually walking around IRL, and they had, like, super anime hair like this. Like, bro, how much uh, product do you use to keep it like this? There's n there, there's no anything else that you could do. Like, that's so much product to keep your hair looking like this. Kind of looks like a chocobo, to be honest with you. Kind of reminds me of, like, a, like a chocobo's, like, hair. <laughs> or its feathers. Ah, uh, well. Down we go. Down we go. Oh, no, we're dropping some frames now. No. Frame Chun, Daisuke Teyo, come back to me, Frame Chun. Not a whole lot, though. I doubt it's gonna, uh, I don't think it's really interrupting the video, but I am experiencing a little bit of dropped frames. I don't know, hopefully that clears up. Hopefully that clears up because I want to play some freaking Final Fantasy, man. I've literally been waiting for, like, two years to play this game. One of the first JRPGs that I played was, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And now we're in, uh... The second part, rebirth. And, ah, I wanna. I'm eager to talk to him too. Yeah, literally everyone is apparently. Huh? You went to my place? I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. I figured you might be there. I wanted to see what's up, Tifa. Like, I mean, the Lockhart residence. Is that her last name? Wait, is that a? Oh my god, it is. It's just a punching bag in the corner of the room. Very Tifa core. Very Tifa esque. She would. Oh, she got a nice place here. Although I'm assuming it's not just hers, right? Remember my cat? No. Her name was Fluffy, I think. <laughs> yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Got the sausages hung up from the uh, from. The, okay, so like everything about this game's been looking really good, but that right there looks so bad. <laughs> it looks terrible. Is it a 3D object or no? Yeah, it's just a 2D object, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just a 2D object. Just just a PNG they threw up there. <laughs> it's very off-putting considering how, like, well-designed everything else is in this. We are playing this in uh, the, the graphics, or the uh, the performance mode. So I'm not, uh, you know, performance always, like, out outplays graphics any day of the week for me. If a game can run good, that's all that matters. I don't necessarily care how good it looks, as long as it runs good. Much prefer those frames for a second. We got... Oh, yeah, okay. Bottle of ether. You stole my bottle of ether? Yeah, I did. Rotary phones. Nice. Not super high res, but it's fine. Maybe we got a command menu. Spells, cure, got items. What's that button? L1? I can multi-use items? Yeah. I like the way this game does it, though. Also, I really love... We saw it on, on Tifa earlier, how, like, the materia there, you can you can see it. Like, like, every weapon has a materia slot. So, like, the materia that we have on, like, the Buster Sword right now, we can actually see on the Buster Sword. It's those green dots. With the, with Tifa, it was, like, around... Because she uses, like, gauntlets. She, use, she, she fights with her hands. And so, uh... You can see, like, around the wrists. You went into my room? Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did, and I you even went, went through this stuff. <laughs> no, I was making a joke. No, 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 totally, no. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. That's it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. <laughs> I'm getting judged so hardcore right now. Oh man, what's this? Playing the p? I can actually play the piano. What? Spec pianos you encounter to start ticking. Or tickling the ivories and performing pieces using sheet music you've acquired. For real? Did you actually play it? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Went to town. Oh, Moogle in the background. Apparently this was changed from the original. Yeah, I'd imagine so. This I this I doubt this is how the the the, the original Final Fantasy VII. What the hell am I looking at? Oh. Uh, 
sharps and flats and minor and semitones and monotone chords. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, there's a lot to this. They put an entire, like, piano thing in here. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ending that. No way. In the original, you find panties? <laughs> I was not going to look in her freaking... Oh, I was not going to look in her, um... In her, in her closet. Especially not telling on myself that I did that. Like, I don't know. If I, if I wasn't, like, retelling the story, I, I you might have... just left alone, you know. Wait, I... <laughs> what were you even thinking? I'm getting judged yeah, so hardcore. Uh, don't quit your day job. <laughs> I'm getting judged so hardcore. <laughs> nice. I, I'm tempted to go through her her closet now. Nice, screw you it. Went through my stuff. Yes, yes, I did because you uh you thought about you. No, I shouldn't have. You you dis you dissed on my uh piano. You dissed on my piano skills. <laughs> nice, nice. I love how he's telling on himself about all this. Like, since this is like a retelling of, of uh, how we met Sep Sephiroth and, and what happened at Nibelheim. Like, he's he could la leave all of this out, but... Nope. <laughs> I wonder if that actually had like some sort of invisible marker, though. Where, uh... <laughs> where they were, uh... Or, or like, I'm, I'm going to, like, that was, like, negative X amount of, like, bonding points for, for Tifa. Now's not the time. Oh, my God. It looks more difficult than just playing piano. Yeah, that was crazy. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. All right. Did you look through her closet, yeah. too? Yeah. Go on. Yeah, I did. Eh, fine. Let's go. Let's look. Let's see. What do we got? Maya, yeah, what's up, Varden? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Playing the the second part of the remake, and was kid, I'm excited. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. Hello, Mama was the Strife. First time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. No. I'll be right there. Hello, Mama. Aww. Cloud, is that you? She does look a lot like Cloud. Hey. Welcome home. Come in. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you. They have like almost the exact face. My my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? Swag. These soldiers sure do clean up nice. Ouchie. I've never been so proud. He just went back to lay on his bed. <laughs> the hell? Must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. And I'm the I'd biggest feel a lot one. Better if I knew you'd found a good girl, one who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. No, Mama. I can take care of myself. <laughs> Why are you in bed? An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow, and tell you when you're being a silly goose. <laughs> Tell me I've been a silly That's goose. The perfect type for you, I'd say. Why are we at the static? They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. <laughs> Claudia as well. Do you agree, Cloud? Oh my god. You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Why am I like freaking out? Okay. That's enough. He does not like remembering his mom. Ah, oh, I'm not able to walk around in the Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. Yeah, you're an emo little bitch. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. Say it like it is, Barrett. Say it like it is. <laughs> oh my god. Anything else to explore around here? You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Huh? Could you keep up? Could I keep up? I'm soldier first class, baby. Am I working out with everybody? Weak legs betray a weak mind. <laughs> Takes me back. I do know that, like, in the first one. You're just doing stretches? Okay, so it's not like, like an actual minigame. But I do know that, like, in the first one, in the, in the first part of the remake, you, uh, anytime that you heard music, you could... Uh, naked cat? No, that's just a normal cat. Just a... 
skin colored one. Just a skin colored fur. Yeah. Oh, look at that floofy one. Is is that floofy one right there? Um, is that Tifa's? She said Fluffy was the name of her cat. I don't know. Feels like it might be. Whoa. But yeah, like, he was able to find, like, anytime you heard music, he was able to, like, buy it. And I don't remember what it was for, but, like, this whole thing. Zonga size? Oh, my God. Zonga size? Uh, oh, as I live and breathe. I know. It's me. Hold your applause. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm going inside now. Bye. Haha. -ha. Hey, what about me? I'm soldier first class, too. Need Hog Hotel. Hello, maid. Nice. Dude. Hi. Who are you? A soldier. That. you are. That's me. Richard Sanga. Don't like Geralt. A humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. This guy seems new as well. I don't recognize this character at all. Yes, I know I'm scrawny. I know I'm a twink. Don't grab my waist. I know it's very grabbable, but don't grab it. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. True. Who asked you? <laughs> but look at these muscles. You could learn a lot from me. This is just Geralt, but like a lot more don't be happy. Shy. I have many pupils your age. You don't even know what my age is. At last count. One hundred and twenty-eight. Nice. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Is it Tifa? It's got to be Tifa, right? Perhaps you yep. know. Yep. Tifa. Uh, of course it is. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. Not that she has a whole lot of body yeah, right. weight either, but. Yeah, right. <laughs> got anything to say for yourself? I love how he's. I didn't know. <laughs> I love how Cloud is telling on himself with everything. Why is he wearing a cape? I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. One v one me then. Let's go. Come on. Should you need my help? Okay. Just say the word. Are you a summon? That's pretty cool, I guess. Hi. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Uh, of course he did. Not one for people. That's Sephiroth. What the hell is that? Is that like a little... I don't even know. A little back room. No idea. I didn't really notice at the time. But looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Yeah, he was laughing. Shit was crazy. What you looking at? Window. This landscape. Huh? <laughs> I could swear I've seen it before. You've been a lot of places, Sephiroth. You okay. Wouldn't be surprised. Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. Okay. You should get some rest. All right. We'll do. I did see something how, uh, like everyone treats Cloud so like mean, or like you know they'll be they'll be rough with him. That'd be really rough on Cloud. Like, they'll slap him on the back and whatnot. And they'll, like, actually, like, move him forward. Considering he, like, stumbles and so... I tried, such, such I a twink. Sleep that night. Sephiroth is so gentle too with Cloud. Too nervous. Uh... That's pretty much the same for me. Red, your tail's on fire. Why? Try not to burn the furniture down. Yeah. It's Charmander ass. Nyaw. Keep is so pretty. I mean, Aerith's pretty too, but like I said earlier, definitely a uh, Zack and Aerith kind of guy. Tifa and Cloud. It's not very bright. Well, I mean, it is, but not really all that early. We leave once our guide arrives. Eh, look at that. Sephiroth's so kind yes, to <laughs> Cloud. Uh, Brian. Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that Chief I is take dad. you up the mountain. My daughter isn't- Dad! Oh, she got the cowboy hat! You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, Dad. 
Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get I hurt. believe it. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. True. Come on. I'm have off and catch you guys later. Have a good rest of the stream. I thank you, brother Doom. <laughs> Got the paparazzi after us. For a posterity, sir? <laughs> Not today. Hey, thank you for stopping by, brother Doom. Always glad to have you around. Hope the rest of the day goes well. It mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Oh god, even Cloud. Sephiroth can't say no to Cloud. There? Sure, sure there. <laughs> Is that a bridge in the background? Like uh like one of those rope bridges? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like Mozzarella! One more! Yeah. One more! I nah. You got your one. Mount Nebel. Yeah, it's like a little rope bridge over there. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. Oh, Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing Just a little Nebel. Clean mountain air again. All right, sprinting. Can hold R2 or press left stick. Go. Cool. Uh, squared attack. Gotcha. Ah. Oh. Man, I remember. Yeah, like this is. Uh, I remembered like this area in general whenever we were playing Crisis Core. All right, run forth. Do I have to hold it? Oh, I do have to hold it. Hey, we're getting like the. The, the title credits going right now. That's nice. Director Naoko Hamaguchi. God, this game looks beautiful though. Despite, you, you know, having your own performance this, settings. But our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. Yeah. I've seen a few reactors in my time. But none with such a breathtaking view. For real. Of it? Everyone, eventually. Yeah, I guess so. You start Man, to get I used to I things, huh? Trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips. This is I very pretty. Business trips, <laughs> which are no fun at all. True. Well, you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. God, look at how I love how the camera's like slowly like panning out, so we get to see like more and more of everything. Ah, uh, really is, really is a breathtaking little area, though, huh? TV over there jumping over the, uh, <laughs> the the trees while I'm just walking around them. What am I supposed to jump over all? Did that deer just do like a vertical leap? <laughs> what are these deer on it over here? Mako, I guess, huh? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Hey not yo. All the training I've had. Huh. Yes, you really are the best there is. <laughs> I'd be curious to see how much stamina Tifa has. I mean, I mean. <laughs> also, yeah, sorry for looking through your room. I'll tell you about it in like five years or something. You can yell at me then. Hmm. Not really much of a path through these mountain ranges, despite there being houses and whatnot up here. And also the entire, like, power company thing. Okay, she's starting to go now. She's starting to speed on up. Butterfly wings? I... That's not a butterfly. What the hell is that? That's butterfly wings, but... Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Oh, yeah, you trying to show and off? They're all yours. Copy that. God, Sephiroth is such a dad right now. What the hell? Insectoid Chimera. Yeah, I guess that works, huh? Uh, square, press the button after dodging to launch a series of range attacks, or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. Ah, interesting. Alright, so, I got my normal attacks, and then I can, yeah. So I was right there, there is a, um... It's on now. Oh yeah, I got a pressure. Punisher mode, operator Let's mode. Yeah, because I remember, like, I think, um, Punisher mode does more damage, but it's slower. And like attacks only like one target. Or operator mode's a bit more like AOE. Awesome. You think? If this is been a little too, uh, to be, too long. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. Eh, save your stamina. I guess not. You leave it all to me. Huh? I need to level up. Don't mind if I do. Seriously though, what the hell? Sephiroth is so nice to us right now. I'm not used to this. 
I'm not used to this positive reinforcement that you are giving us. Big dad energy. Initiating combat. We will grow alert to your presence as you approach them. Once gauge foes approach, combat will ensue. Press square before it fails to get the jump on your foes. Try to avoid a fight. If you land the first strike, your ATV gauge will feel slightly. Oh, ah, that's cool. And I can run away if I just, like, run away. I, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Oh, hi. What, what's going on? Yeah, ATB gauge. That's for all my, like, special things. For, like, magic or... Uh... Abilities that I don't have, like, equipped. Uh, I mean, sure. Braver. I, mean, I remember there's... You can change that to, like, hotkeys later on. I think it's, like, R2, L2. Let's see. Triple slash. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. That was up in the air as well. Feeling pretty good. But you see, I don't mind that. Like, having to wait for my ATB gauge to fill up so that I can use a skill, but I'm still able to, like, guard, walk around, and do re regular basic attacks. Like, alright, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Rickety ass bridge, damn. Is that? Is that? Mako? Yeah. Whoa. Mako geysers! Oh, my tracking broke. I look back over at, uh,. Stream and <laughs> the broke. Right, what's up, Jerry Moore? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on. Bye. Oh, so it's your birthday today. Well, happy birthday. Hey, yo, Tifa. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? I guess so. Just I guess you watch. Yeah, watch. I got this. R1 to block incoming attacks. Or press circle to dodge. I'm probably going to dodge more often than I'm going to block. Because I enjoy my, uh, my dodge. My dodging attacks. Although this thing is in the air, so that's kind of annoying. Also, it seems to like magic lock ones. Come on, come on. Uh, what is the last one that we got? Abilities, focus thrust. Sure. I don't know if that was exactly a good thing to do, but whatever. Yeah, punisher mode. You're staggered, so you get more damage and all that. I do remember some of that. Wait, did that say terrain? Terrain action. Oh, it's like climbing on things or jumping off of things. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, thank you, I will follow you. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I need to change my, uh, my, my tracking, though. One a second with that. I don't know why that thing broke, but it, it did. It did break. Hey, so welcome on it. Name is Sky Accents. I am a punk VTuber, hence the anime model. <laughs> and I, uh, I play a lot of JRPGs. Love my JRPGs. So, whenever uh, Final Fantasy VII... Rebirth came out. Oh, you know. I've been waiting for this game. Been really waiting for this game. Super excited to be playing it now. And uh, so far, so good. It's been a good time. What's up, Zekin? I'm actually finished this game? Really? You're finishing it right now? Well, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I had to uh, put this on the back burner a little bit considering I had other things I was playing. Uh, I had Code Steel. I love Code Steel, but oh, you know, so many things. So many things. All right. Uh,. Reset that, and get you back up. All right, come on. Now I'll follow Tifa while this thing's like loading. I don't. I know. Like I've been having a lot of issues with uh, my webcam lately. I think like the driver. Like I even saw that my driver has been outdated. Which targeting press R3 to lock on. Okay. All yours. So there is a lock on. Oh my god. Yes, I know what to do. Well, maybe we should attack the, uh, the small thing first, considering it's small. I can probably deal with it. Triple. Oh. Did I... I didn't ex no, I didn't exactly get that thing uh, down. Braver, sure, why not? Come on. Well, that thing's a little too far away then. All right, I'll block that one. The, the magic attack seems to be a little difficult to do. How do I get up on that? I can't... <laughs> Do I have to, like, unlock onto the target? No. Hmm. There's something that I'm missing right there for, for, for that. Because, I mean, I should definitely be able to, like, climb things, right? should definitely be able to climb some things. Alright, abilities, braver, sure. Like, if we're gonna be... Sure. Flying enemies, I swear. But, yeah, like, if we're gonna be fighting out here in, like, worlds like this, I'd imagine, um, we're gonna have something like that. Ah, VC face did not work again. I think I left that program up. Da, da. Yeah, give me some assistance. There's uh, a lot of flying birds. They're annoying, obnoxious. Wait, there's got to be some way to. Got to be some way to uh, to jump up. I'd I'd hope. Well done, Trooper. 
Well done, Trooper. Thank you. you took the hit. I got the rest. Nice. Hey, how you doing today, Zach? I'm glad to see you. Thank you for stopping on by. Welcome on in. I need to change my controls to L1. R1 being the, um... Oh my god. R1, limit break. Hey, yo. Cross slash. Sure. Um, but yeah. Having, uh, L1, or having R1 being my... Beautiful. Having R1 as my guard button, it's a little, a little wonky. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? No, oh, wow. You think you can handle I'll that? Be careful. Squats. Squats. You better. <laughs> cool. See you at the reactor. He's such a dad. He's such a dad. Process is gone. Why are you so cringe, VC face? Why are you so cringe? Equipment materia. Can be sent to most weapons and equipment via the material equipment. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That checks out. Review the material tutorial. Eh, I'm probably okay. I'm probably okay. I did play the first one. And also, it's already given me the tutorial anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the more you use materia. I do remember that. The more you use the materia, the more, like, you get from it. Oh, yeah, and I also have, like, materia that I can equip on my... <laughs> it's telling me about materia, but it's not even letting me change it right now. But yeah, like, you can equip materia onto your, like, accessories as well. Not just your weapons. Uh, oh, here we go. So healing and fire. See, magic would be a very... A lot more helpful against those flying enemies. I think. I would think. Um. Alright. Let's see if this thing will freaking work this time. I was gonna say the defensive options are kind of ass better to kill before they kill you. Yeah! Like, if I can attack them and, like, dodging is hard, then... I'll, I'll try that, but otherwise, what's going on with my webcam? It even like freaked out there for a second that it wasn't even like having power. Huh? Maybe the the thing is going bad. Oh, maybe the maybe, yeah. <laughs> this shocked face of oh no, something's breaking. How could it happen? Yeah, can I change the? Oh. So you hold L1 to do that. Again, I would prefer that to be R1. I feel like that would be uh, just better in general. Can I... Options. Alright. What was that of you? I'm gonna unplug my webcam and plug it back in. I don't know, maybe that'll... Alright, unplugged it, plugged it back in, I don't know, hopefully that'll, like, whatever it's it's dealing with, it'll it'll fix. Um, but yeah, can I change the, the, the gameplay the commands? Because I really don't, like, that's, that's a weird button. I feel like it's a weird button for... Hmm. It's a weird button for, uh, all of that. I, I guess I can't change my controls. That's kind of, that's kind of cringe, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Could use a BNG of you and just keep going if it causes too much trouble. Yeah, that's what I'll end up doing if I have to. But, uh... I'm still looking at things while this is all, like, loading up. Combat settings? Can I... Let's change it over here. So, yeah, like, I have L1 square for braver. L1 triangle for focus thrust. L1 circle for triple slash. While in air, the different things. Okay, looks like I'm working for now. Looks like me program is working for now. I'm going to keep that up for now, just in case, just to make sure. And, yeah. Hopefully that works. Hopefully we don't have any more of those weird little hiccups with that. Ah. Because, yeah, I don't know, like, using R1 as, like, an attack, like, like a um, shortcut attack, that, that feels fine. But guarding, I feel like I really want to put that on L1. Like, my brain thinks of of Dark Souls controls, right? There! Is that it? Wait. R1 plus that does... Okay, that doesn't change it at all. <laughs> that only changes whether my square and triangle is offensive or defensive. And my circle and X or the other. That's weird. That's strange. 
Now you can use the dynamic difficulty since normal is kind of the hard mode. Dynamic difficulty? There's, I didn't see it at dynamic difficulty. Normal's hard mode though. What um, options? Let's just see what it is. Oh, dynamic. I didn't even see. Just uh, based on your skill. Select this if you want the thrill of the fight. Uh, I mean, sure. I guess why not? Have the the enemies change depending on how well I'm doing at the time. That seems that seems interesting. I thought I, I didn't even read what the word was. I just saw like easy, normal, and then something else. And I was like, ah, oh, it's probably like death or or something like dastardly. I don't know. Didn't really read. But sure. All right. My may as well. That could be an interesting thing. Way I don't get annoyed if <laughs> if something is really kicking my ass, it'll like ease up a little bit. But yeah, I can't change my controls for that, which is upsetting. I can only change that. Issuing commands. Party member info. Swap guard. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Swap guard and command shortcuts button. There it is. Okay, that's what I wanted, because. Yeah, that just feels weird. That, that felt really weird. Like having. <laughs> Oh, I'm not in combat, so I can't actually do this. Well, whatever. Uh, I'm a little hurt. Sure. Cura. Or cure. Whatever. Not a lot, but it's something. Nice, though. Nice. Play normal, be ready for one hour boss fights? I mean, I play JRPG, so that's pretty pr pretty usual. Okay, Punisher mode, Operator mode. I do remember that. I do remember that. So, yeah. I, can, I don't know. Yeah, like, my Dark Souls brain just definitely thinks that. Try Definitely thinks about um, using L L1 as like my guard, whereas my um, uh, R1 is more for like other bonus skills. Ah, oh, just the kind of the way my brain is working with it. All right, that was uh, that was yeah, it felt very good because I got controls that I actually like now, but also like that felt really easy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I do remember in the in the original Final Fantasy remake, the, the first uh, Final Fantasy remake, the first part, there was some areas like later in the game that were kind of uh, kind of difficult. They, they were kind of annoying. So HP bar goes on forever. Yeah, I'm not a fan of bullet sponges like that. Like if it's if if, if it's if it's something's difficult because of like actual skill, then all right, sure, yeah, I like that. But if something's difficult because it's um, like just so tanky it's like all right well I've, I've been here for 12 years like let's hurry up let's hurry up and, and do something ah. yeah like with these guys I probably just need to like guard while they're while they're doing that oh yeah that's the wrong button kind of wish I could I don't know that, that'll be fine uh, that's fine I'm uh, using um I uh, one charge and that one did the uh, other attack yeah I don't know. I kind of wish that I could um do R2 and R1 swap those as well, but I guess we're not that bad off. That one's done. I want. Come on, I see you. I need to. Th so I'm guessing it's circle. That's the other one. Yeah, because the triple slash is the one that I like the most. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Staggered. Whenever I played the the first part, I I think I only ever used like Punisher mode whenever I staggered an enemy. Otherwise, I used Operator mode, considering. Or, like, if I was later on and, like, you know, a bunch of weak enemies, like, sure, that was fine. But, operator mode was the standard, like, way to go. Let's say at some point I was doing 1 to 4 damage to a boss. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, yeah, that does not sound... Like, if I'm leveled up to the, deg the degree that I'm supposed to be. That's why you don't usually play games on hard mode. Because, like, it's not... It's artificially hard. It's not an actual difficulty. Like, Dark Souls has, like, some actual difficulty to it. But, uh... Like, you, you, as you get better at the game, you do better. Like, there is leveling up and whatnot as well to make it easier on you, but... Yeah, a lot of games like... You know, like Legend of Heroes, whenever I have been playing that on hard, it's like, okay. The boss just has 1.5 times the amount of hit points and defense and attack. And it's just like, this isn't... It's harder, Not that way. but only because I had to. Bridges out, damn it. Why did I go forward? It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come Great. Back, okay? Okay. Why am I going forward first, considering I don't know where I'm going? We have a guide to guide us to where we need to be going. I, okay, I saw this. I saw this, and I was like, yeah, we gotta go this way. Or what is this way? 
Eh, whatever. But yeah, like, come on, Tifa should be the one in, in the front. For multiple reasons. What's up, Kaiju? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. You block one punishing mode, you count. Oh, true. I do remember that. I do remember that from the first part of the remake. I do need to uh, do that, then. I do need to do that. And look, Sephiroth and the other guys are still here. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. And it's what I get for going off ahead. You, our guide. Yeah, right? Reconsider. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Yeah, right? I'm bad at, at the whole guiding thing. Yes! Yes! <laughs> she sounded so excited. Aww. Hey, how you doing, guide? You're welcome on. I'm glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. I'm excited to be playing this game. But hey, Zekin, one more thing. Is there any way to, like, while in combat, clamber over things? Because I was, um... I, I was trying to uh, fight this uh, that one bird, but he was on top of, like, this little rock plateau. And I could not get up on top of it. <laughs> like, there was just no way. It's so dark. Thank you. Boxes. Mega potion. But yeah, like, I feel like if uh, we're going to be out in, like, the, the boonies, out in the wilderness, or just in general, really, there's probably going to be situations where I'm going to have to climb on things. Obtain an orb of level boost materia? Ooh. Uh, all right. Can I equip that? Probably. Set materia on this thing. Well, I got some, I got a few things. I got... Uh, level boost and assess. Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, I can swap material if I press triangle. Oh, okay. Increase level of link material by one. Um, oh, well, I don't have anything that's linked right now. Oh, no, wait, this thing is linked. Ice material. So my ice material is leveled up. I should probably put that on my that instead. Actually, yeah, yeah, hold up. This thing and this thing. Wait, no. This, that. There we go. Now, I'd rather my healing material be a higher level than my fire or ice or anything like that, so, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. If you're lock on, it's not going to work, I think, but if not, like, every fight is like that. Yeah, I, I think I unlocked and I still couldn't, like, clamber on anything, which was weird. Honestly, the lock on this doesn't seem all that useful either, because, I mean, you know, I, I still kind of, like, lock on whenever I'm going, so, eh, we'll see. I guess we'll save. We did some settings changes got into a a, 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 de a decent 40 minutes yeah that's decent now you now you were locked on we're locked on eh, maybe I would like the last one I was but like before you joined I was trying I was unlocked on trying to see what's up yeah I don't know like even like with Dark Souls I don't like half the time I'm locked on but the other half of the time it's just like ah, eh, it's fine they, they kind of auto locks on kind of auto hones into the enemies when we're fighting, so it's fine. It's fine. God, this game looks so good, though. I'm so excited to be playing this. I haven't played, uh... I've been looking forward to this one, and it's been a while since i played some Final Fantasy. I haven't played since Crisis Core, which was, like... A year ago? Half a year ago? Something like that. Or the game did that? Oh, yeah, maybe that's the thing. There might be auto-lock-ons. Nice. This thing is reminding me of something, and I don't know what's going on. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, yeah, hold up. Yeah, I think I swapped over to Punisher mode. I want to see. Yeah, counter. Okay, you know what? Probably very useful for this guy that's consistently throwing shit around. Uh, and then, like, do this one. Triple slash. And focus thrust. Sure, why not? All the attacks. I really need to heal up. Do that after the fight, though. Do that after the fight. Braver. Nice. Screamer. Done and done right, baby. Uh, yeah, I got Kira. She takes 14 and 6. Oh, that's worth it. Like, in a fight, sure. But if it only gives me, like, twice... If Kira, it's only Kira times 2. Then it would be a bit more effective to just do that. Just use that low-level Kira's. Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it, how it works. Chest, my beloved. Chest ahead. Praise the chest. Hmm. But yeah, like for that guy, Punisher definitely seemed good. The counter. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. I see it. To breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako I mean, we're fine. The hell is? What am I doing here? Okay, I can move that thing. I don't know why or where I need to move that at, but sure, I could. 
Purifier connected to the Mako Processing Unit. Wait, I gotta move that thing over there then? Okay, but there's a chest down here. What's the chest? I'm not big on, like, 100%ing games, but, like, I want to get as much as I can. If I can see a chest, and I know a chest is there, I don't want to just leave that over there. Oh, yeah, circle. I'm going to leap over things with circle. It looks like I probably could have just dropped down or jumped over that then, too, huh? Just give it. Oh, yeah. Bottle of ether. Cool. Oh, I can just run towards things as well, and it uh, does that. Honestly, I'm vibing with the R2 run button instead of the sprint button. The, the the generic, like, left stick, click, sprint button. A very Assassin's Creed, and I kind of like it. Ah, Assassin's Creed. Did you choose the 60 frames per second mode? Um, I think. I chose the performance over the, the graphics. I mean, look at that. Um, yeah, like, the, in the graphics settings, I changed that to performance sharp. Because, you know, definitely don't care about the graphics as much. Graphics are nice and all, but I want, I want, I want performance. And, I don't know, sharp probably would be better. I'd show off my spiky anime boy hair. So, yeah. I didn't see 60 frames per second anywhere in here, though. So, I don't know. Granted, I'm also playing this on PlayStation. Well, it's only on PlayStation, isn't it? So, yeah. But, yeah, performance only. I do enjoy graphics. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy uh, pretty-looking graphics, but... I, uh... <laughs> I definitely would much rather a game be playable than look pretty. What, is, what am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Is there a lip here that I, I'm not noticing? Maybe? Yeah, I guess there is a lip there. I mean, I, I can kind of see that, but... How am I supposed to bring that thing over there if I... don't have that? I'm supposed to, like, leap over something. Eh. Barbed wire on the top there. I doubt that. Kind of doubt that. Ice guy, gotta have your loot. Ether, what's up, 9 volt? Welcome on in. Glad to see ya. Thanks for stopping on by. Thank you. Not the full frames per second. You chose the half graphics and half frames per second. Not the full frames per second. Oh. Is that so? So the soft d gives me... Um, I kind of wish it would have told me that. But yeah. We'll go with smooth then. So there's like the... Good graphics, or the best graphics, the good graphics, and then the worst graphics. Which, I mean, the game looks pretty good regardless, so. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call any of this bad graphics. I gotta interact with this thing and, like, realize that it's broken. Elevator access yeah. restricted due to Mako gas concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear excess Mako gas. Oh, and, and is this the thing that I'm doing to, like... Ah. Am I, like, pushing this thing closer to the Mako so that it'll, uh... Apparently I have to hold the button. Apparently I have to hold L2 to move this thing around. Let's see. Is the Mako on the ground? Push the box over. Okay, yeah. Sure. I can only really move it to this one, though. We had to, like, activate the elevator first to uh, figure that out. We got ourselves a fancy, uh... Vacuum cleaner now. But how you doing today, 9 Volt? Welcome on in. Hopefully your day's going well. Hopefully it's going good. I can't. Be far connected to this microprocessing unit. Yeah, but like... That wire is not that long. Need to, like, move the fence or something. I'm not supposed to move that thing. What am I looking at? Unless there's something else around. Can I just break this? No. Violence is not the answer right now. It should be, but it's not. Uh, there's got to be some way to, like, move the floor, right? Or, like, move the, uh, the fence? There is this thing right here, which makes me think there's something going on. Because, yeah, that, that, uh, that, that plug's a little, a little short for what I need to be doing. I think I can get around this corner with it. The thing is so unwieldy as well, like... All right, sure, never mind, I guess. Uh, I guess that, that cord just keeps getting longer. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Is that it, then? No All right, detected. cool. Just you don't have to move stuff, it's just the box? Weird. I definitely saw this, and I didn't see that there was, like, a box under there of, like, more wire. 
So I was like, that's that's not enough wire. What are you doing? I think it, it felt a little unwieldy. A little unwieldy with uh, moving it forward. Caught on things and heavy. Just like a, a norm. <laughs> Lurky emoji. Uh, but just like a like a grocery store, like one of those shopping carts. Thing just doesn't work sometimes. It's got like a bad wheel on it. Makes it harder for it to turn. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fetching my caffeine. Hope your day is going well too. We're going pretty good. Playing some Final Fantasy VII, which I am excited about. Yeah, I can just sprint over things. I'm not actually use the interact button, the terrain button. I guess if I just want to walk around, I can. But yeah, like we're still basically in the prologue. Basically, all of the um, uh, the like we 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 saw. Like, we saw the events at the end of the first part of the remake, and then, I, I don't know, we saw this moment with Zack and Aerith and all them were kidnapped, but then we saw Barrett, Aerith, Tifa, Red, Cloud, they were all just hanging out in some, in Calm, in, in some village called Calm, and now we're doing a flashback to this, and like, I don't even know. What's up, Firehead? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Kind of ironic that Firehead showed up as soon as it started raining in-game, but, you know, I guess that's just the way it is, huh? Also, did we, did we really have to worry about the Mako? I mean, I, I understand, like, the, 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 like, company security reasons, but... About crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Which thing? This bridge? Hey, I'm the guide here. <laughs> Alright, by, by all means, then. But yeah, like... With uh, Sephiroth and Cloud, that they've been infused with uh, with Mako. Where this is one rickety bridge. Holy shit! That last one was pretty crazy. My lethal company like brain is freaking out right now. I was about to say, I swear to God, if this bridge gets hit by lightning, Are you okay? and then it did. <laughs> You know what? Fair. Two freaking soldiers. Sephiroth, Cloud. What are you? Sephiroth gave up on life. Into the water. Nah, Cloud going after Tifa, as he should. Nameless soldiers falling into the, uh, falling after them. <laughs> I like how Sephiroth's just standing in this in this running water. Meanwhile, Tifa's like getting like white water rafting. Same with <laughs> same with Cloud. Sephiroth is just like I'm fine. Oh yeah, Cloud's fine too. Y'all just gave up for real. We did. I'm doing good. Are you Scott? I'm good. Naturally set. Yeah, yeah. I, that, I mean, that's that's a move. Ooh, we saved one of them. But not that one. Should have been taller. Oh well. Gunthra River Basin. Two hours later. <laughs> I don't remember that from the uh, Crisis Core that we played, though. That's a little bit different. Cloud been really retelling the story in quite an interesting way, huh? Now. I'm sure he's fine. Do you know the way? <laughs> Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Well, then follow the river the other way. Probably. Sorry, I... I don't think I can. No, Tifa. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. Not a random soldier pops up to the final boss la I'll later. Joining you up front this time. <laughs> That'd be insane. For your performance review. Hey yo. Are you kidding me? Good luck. But yeah, Sephiroth's been such a daddy. Oh my God, Sephiroth's joined the party. He's been such a father figure to uh, to Cloud right now. Cause yeah, in in Final Fantasy VII, uh, like Sephiroth is the enemy, of course, right? But in Crisis Core. Sephiroth is is a war hero, and he's like 
you know, one, one of the most um, influential figures in Shinra. And Shinra is still like a, a good corporate company right now. Like, there's not... Shinra is not the enemy. We're employed by Shinra. And so, uh... Ah, yeah, I can, I can move things. Got gotcha. you. So, yeah, Sh uh, Sephiroth is... Uh, he's a good guy. He, he's, he's a homie for now. Ooh, Naruto. And also, yes, Cowboy Tifa. Nice. I'm so glad they kept that. A lot of Sephiroth fan service here. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I was saying at the beginning, like, I saw before, like, there's so many moments in Final Fantasy VII, in, in the remake, at least, where everyone's giving Cloud such a hard time, but meanwhile, Sephiroth over here is just being a dad, just being, being a homie. You gotta love the classic, like, yellow ledges that indicate that you can climb there. Classic. Hey, we got a bench! Remember in the first remake, in the first part of the remake, there was, uh, like, these were the like the checkpoint, like rest areas. Game would auto save, and uh, you got all your health back, all that stuff. And when will you drop him down a bit as he's stabbing you? Ah, eh, probably later. Probably later. What's this? Uh, HP up. Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's got some enemies over there. Ooh, Sephiroth. Look at that Odachi. God, it's such a cool blade. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. It's not a thick as Cloud's blade, but I mean, it's got that length. Alright, um, I'm just gonna put everything on Cloud, because may as well set materia, and give me some of that HP up, why don't you? Thank you very much. Mm -mm, I wonder what those bug things taste like? They're chimeras, so probably they taste like, this Cloud's such a baby face, for real. Um, they taste like whatever they would, uh, off you go. Am I? I'm controlling Sephiroth right now. Ooh! I use uh, the D-pad to change characters and LTR2 to issue commands. Gotcha. Yeah, you know what? I'll uh, I'll go. Hold slash. I mean, I'm not gonna be fighting Sephiroth a lot. I'm <laughs> so hot. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing Sephiroth because I mean, I may as well. Oh right. And. Uh, he probably has a command menu. He probably has a command menu, but not what I'm looking for. Sephiroth commands. Zashin Hell's Gate. Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. So he's got that like triangle special attacks, and then he's also got the 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 like what action gauge. I kind of like that more than Cloud's like operator mode, Punisher mode. But well, <laughs> I know we're not going to be able to deal with that for very very long. Um, uh, but cool. Oh, actually playing as Sephiroth. Like I'm playing Smash Bros. all over again. How do you get stuck on that ledge? Uh, well, we, we fell down from, like, way over here. Like, we were, we were walking across a very rickety bridge. Way up there, up, up river. And it broke. It got struck by lightning, which... I knew it. I could feel it coming. I was just like, I swear to God, if we get struck by lightning on this bridge. And then it did. I'm like, oh God, of course. Granted, I guess we do have a lot of metal on us, but it struck the actual bridge and not us, so. It is what it is. But yeah, then we went down the river. I'm guessing it's probably pretty shallow down there and we was able to climb up. And one guy went all the way down. He's fine. He's fine. Small rock when you were just fighting? Oh, that, like, any of this? Eh, you know. You know, stuff and things. Stuff and things. Only the attack button does another attack. I did see that. I did see that I was able to do that, but I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm I'm doing right now. More Mako gas ahead. More Mako, all oh, the Mako. Yeah, no Can way I? around it. Either. There we go. No way around it. Like I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh, interesting. Let's not waste any time. So I have Mako. This thick is dangerous. You say that <laughs> in air. I'm trying to see what. Yeah, I've got like that attack. Whatever that one does. Or a charge. It's weird. Oh, I can't even use that right now. Uh, I'm guessing I can probably just do this. Yeah. Hell's Gate. That did like nothing. You missed, Sephiroth. Congratulations. Piece of cake. That one's really good, though. His Zashin. That's a really good attack. Huh. Now we're going to play around with Sephiroth until uh, we can't play as him anymore. Especially considering this is kind of like a tutorial type area. Heavy Mako in this area. It'd be kind of fun if we had a like an actual timer in here. But we don't, so I don't have any worries whatsoever about staying here forever. 
What if we're going to keep these materia as well? Like, this is a five years ago flashback, so I can't imagine we were going to be keeping any of this stuff. But uh, it'd be cool. Orb of Empowerment. Okay, what's that do? What's that do? What's up, Apple? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on, bye. We're doing the Final Fantasy today, and it's been quite interesting. Uh, I don't really need both of those. Assess. I mean, I don't really care about Assess, to be honest. We should empowerment. Resist the brave and defaith. Whatever the hell that means. Uses bravery and uses faith once I level it up. I mean, I like resisting status effects, so sure. I may as well. I'm just giving everything to Cloud, even though he's not. <laughs> I'm not even playing as him right now. Oh well. Is what it is. But yeah, this is a very interesting start going through Cloud's retelling of the end of Crisis Core. And uh, it's very different from how we actually experienced Crisis Core when we played it. Should we play that? It's been like half a year or so. Half a year to two. Something like that. Uh, we need to go the other way, but what is this way? Oh, wait, this just leads back to where I was. I don't need to go that way. I got turned around. Every now and then. What is... Gnipa Hellier. <laughs> that is a hell of a name. Down! I'm going down, down in a Mako cave. Nice. Pretty. But we know what actually happened? Yeah. If you've played Crisis Core, you know what actually happened. Or if you've, uh, Go spring. you know, have played this game before. It's played the original Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? That sounds awfully avalanche of what you. What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. <laughs> Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out. Right? Never, ever. My fossil fuels will never run out. Materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. Didn't answer my question there, Sephiroth. The Mako energy oh, well. to condense into something like this. What's up, Kakuro? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for coming on by. How does Materia let you cast spells exactly? Good question. How did you ever get to be a soldier? <laughs> That's the you funny know. part. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Talking about those ancients again. Really? Good morning, what's up, Zane? Magic sure is weird. Welcome on and glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, magic's weird. I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. <laughs> I can just imagine what he'd say. You're talking about that one weirdo? It's an affront to science. Yep, we're all talking about that one weird Ooh. scientist, dude. I forget his name. Ojo, yeah. research and development. That's the one. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He's weird. He's really weird. He is anything but... Ooh, even Sephiroth throwing shade. should press on. I'm gonna head off, have a fun time, Mr. Sky. Hope I pop up more. Hey, nice. Thank you for stopping on by, Firehead. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah. I'm gonna be playing quite a bit of this for the foreseeable future. A lot of, you know, another, like, two hours today or so. And, uh, then every Tuesday and Thursday following until we beat this game. Which probably will only take me, it won't take me as long as, uh, like, because, like, Code Steel 3, that took me 37 streams. I really don't expect it to take me that long. But you know what? Cloud, I'm swarming over to you. And then... Not the uh, not the one I was trying to attack. There we go. I want to attack this guy, considering... Yeah, like, projectiles, you can't... You, you can't, uh... Uh, parry projectiles. But you can parry, like, every single one of these... This guy's, like, swings, so... This dude, probably a little bit better to fight with, uh... Oh, we can even... Did he just say shit? Watch your profanity. Watch your profanity. <laughs> and that shit is long. This one is? Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, I was, I was kind of... Like, I didn't want to buy this game at full price, considering I, uh, I beat the remake of, like, part one in, like, 30 hours. So I was like, oh, no. I don't want to spend 70 bucks on, like, a 30-hour game. Like, uh... Like, it looks great, and 
I'm already having a good time, and I imagine I will continue to have a good time playing this, but... 70 bucks is a lot of money. I kind of wanted to wait for it to go on sale. But, you know, I made the poll, the people spoke, and so, yep, here we are. Here we are! Can't complain too much, because, I mean, it'd be fun. Wait, you see, so, Nigel, you think that these things taste like uh, chicken, kind of like pork, kind of like scorpion and spider? That's probably... That's probably fair. God, it is so much fun playing a Sephiroth. It's like, um... Like whenever you play, um... Devil May Cry, right? Kind of feels like Cloud is Dante and Sephiroth is Virgil. They kind of have, like, like Sephiroth is way more agile. He's way, like, faster, long-reaching attacks with the katana as well. And then, like, Cloud, he's a lot shorter range. He's got some good style to him as well, though. Both fun to play as. Both definitely fun to play as. But I'm going to definitely get as, as much time in with Sephiroth as I can. Again, though, with these freaking, like, sulfur rocks or whatever, they are very obvious path forward. Oh, no, it broke. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember that from the, um... Was that in the first one as well? Or am I thinking of, like, Uncharted? Where sometimes platforms, like, like, footholds could break. Heads up. I mean, yeah. Not exactly. Can you... Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You can actually see, like, a... Wow. I just got... I just got Monster Hunter stunned. Unblockable attacks. Okay, yes. That attack. Well, I mean, it was unblockable, but it didn't really matter too much, huh? Uh... Okay, yeah, I keep forgetting R2 and L2. Or R2 and R1. Those two buttons, I need to get it in my brain. Still pressing the wrong one. But yeah, I got freaking Monster Hunter shrieked. One of my one of the things I do not like about Monster Hunter is the fact that the monsters yell all the freaking time, and then our guy's just like, oh, oof, ow, oof, ears, ah, I can't hear, oof, and it's like, bro, you should be deaf by now. How many monsters have we killed at this point? You shouldn't be able to hear anything. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? And I like this other Elden Ring map and took it as a challenge. Really? Nice. If we got, like, an Elden Ring-sized map for Final Fantasy VII, I was, I was wondering, considering... Like, I know that, like, this part of Final Fantasy VII is when the, in the original one. I never played the original Final Fantasy VII, but I have heard, I do know that um, it's supposed to be... Like, when the game really opened up. Like, Midgar was a very small, short section of the game. So I was wondering how this one was going to go. Like, if, if it was going to get more streamlined, or if it was going to still be as open world as the original. I hope it's open world, because, I mean, this just seems like a fun time. I don't have a healer in my party yet. I don't have a white mage. I need one. Aerith! Aerith! Aw, oh, damn. Not again. Synergy? Guarding with L1, you can team up with allies to form a variety of synergy? Useful abilities that do not consume ATB charges. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I have to press the uh, square and triangle to do those ones. When can I do these? It's like kind of just doing these. Filling the stagger gauge. Yeah, 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 I know. I do know how to do that. Get pressured. Get pressured. It kind of feels like I can just like indefinitely do this attack. Which is cool, but why? Stagger bonus. Yeah, yeah, they can do stuff. Uh... Striking Sucker Post with Triangle fill your ATB gauge. Oh, I don't have that attack right now. Oh, it's because I have to be doing mid combos. Oh, I see. I see. Narahodo. Those are kind of weird, I'll be honest. Kind of weird. I've got your back. That one felt pretty good. Pretty good. Zoo defeated. I've defeated Zoo! Nice, nice. Should probably heal up a little bit, though. Sephiroth. Kind of taking some beatings. Kind of taking some beatings. Although, I guess I can try Kira. This is like 1944. What did... What does Cure... Like, base Cure do? Um, Cloud. About a thousand. So, yeah. Yeah, it's basically just... Like, Kira is basically just like two cures put together. So, if I have the time, I can just use two cure spells for less MP. But... Uh, if I'm not, if I'm in a fight and I'm missing a lot of health, yeah, it'd definitely be more useful to use like the Kira. Uses more MP, but able to uh, 
get it done a little bit faster. Less ATV charges, because magic does require an ATV charge. I do remember that. Hmm. Yeah, how's the Kunkuro King doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Had a busy night last night. Two streams, doing some Yu-Gi-Oh! and some, uh... 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 The, the, Mahjong! Mahjong! God, do so much damage. Do so That's much that. damage to Sephiroth. And that attack right there, that Zenshin attack, it does... So, it's so much range. Crazy. Remember, everything's, um... Hydrate, okay. We're both level 40, but, like, Sephiroth has way more. Uh, I did need some hydration. Thank you for that, Konkuro. Thank you, thank you. Mm, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see... Especially, like, the side missions. Like, that's what I'm, like, mostly interested in. Because, like, you know, main story is always fun. Like, always fun. Main story is almost always just, like, a really good time in games. If it's a good game, it's got a good main story. But, like, what separates a really good game from, like, every other game is the amount of, like, side stuff that you can do. If you can make your world feel, like, lived in and uh, make all the side stuff feel, like, interesting or, like, engaging, that, that's a really, that's a really good time. It makes for a really good time. Right, I'm probably going to have to interact with this to tell myself that I need to Elevator get rid of the Mako. Yep. Air purification ah. unit must be employed to clear excess Mako gas. Okay. But yeah, I did not realize that this wire... Like, I don't know, if, if they put, like, a wire on the back of this thing that, like, kind of moved... I, I don't know, I wasn't realizing... Why is that thing going... So oh, because there's, like, a thing in front of me. Gotcha. Mako gas levels reduced by 20%. Shouldn't it be 33 Okay, was not long enough. Look for another way to get through and continue to clear the Mako gas. Well, that's exactly what I thought about the first time. I was like, the cable doesn't look like it's long enough. Oh. <laughs> I remember joking about that. Uh, I remember joking about it in the first one that, like, whenever you were uh, opening up something, it, <laughs> it took forever because uh, you have to, like, stand there and, like, be like, okay, opening now! As you're pulling the lever. Like, why is that, why is that a hold? Why is that a hold option? Whatever. God, but yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy to think about. Like, way back in 2021, whenever I first started streaming. Um, I'm pretty sure it was 2021. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. We, uh, I, I was streaming the first part of this with, like, zero concurrent people, right? There was, like, zero to one concurrent viewers here at my streams. I had, like, 15 subscribers on YouTube. Wasn't multi-streaming or anything like that. And now, like, a couple years later, here we are with uh, all of you lovely folks. Good times, good times. Just really, really crazy to think about. I mean, the uh, Crisis Core was, was similar as well, considering, like, that was also, like, I started having, uh, I was at, like, 200 or something on YouTube. And uh, now we're closing in on 400. We're at, like, 370? Uh, I think we're at, like, 370. So I think I was at 369 when I woke up this morning, and then with, um, with, uh, oh, I forget the names. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I forget your name already. Me yeah, with old Jerry Moore there. With, if, uh, he keeps on following after the stream. <laughs> then we will be at, uh, 370. Which, hey, nice. Nice, nice. I appreciate. Ah, uh, but yeah. Yeah, if, uh. Now, I always appreciate my Twitch followers as well. Anybody that's lurking on the Twitch side, you know, if you're not following already, may maybe uh, maybe do that. I, I would appreciate. You don't have to, of course, but, uh, I mean, I definitely would appreciate it if you did. And uh, I got the YouTube side there where all the VODs are saved, so everything that I'm talking about right now, about way back when, and ye olden days of streaming, if you want to see uh, my reactions to playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time, with not really knowing much of anything about the game. Like, very little. I definitely know more now that I've, uh... Like, I've seen some streamer friends play the original Final Fantasy VII, and I played through Crisis Core, and I've also played through the Final Fantasy Part One of the of the remake. So, yeah, it's, uh... If you want to check all that stuff out, it's all on my YouTube. So, you know, maybe give me a like and subscribe over there as well. Always appreciate. Alright, shilling over. Back to fighting. 
Wait. Huh? Stop right there. Hold it. Mako. What? So I never really... I didn't mean to do it, but I kind of gave myself Mako eyes whenever I was making my model. As a big boy! This way. Random Shinra soldier. To be a hero. It's time to be a hero! <laughs> Wish I had him. Thinks we're after material. Someone should tell it we're not. Man, for real. Guess. That... I was guarding, and that still did a lot of damage. Hmm. Can I... I don't know, this attack doesn't seem to do all that much. Like, despite being... That... Is that like a, uh, magic guard or something? Because, I mean... It doesn't seem to really do anything. Uh... Discrete enemy parts? So that means have individual body parts you can attack, target attack. Destroying these discrete parts can pressure your foes to prevent them from unleashing powerful abilities. Ah, that'll probably be... That'll probably be where my, uh, uh like, locking on will, will be, like, more handy than... Whoa. <laughs> Fix yourself, Cloud. Uh, there we go. I guess I... Oh, wait, did... Was, was Cloud inside that? Is that why, um... Is, is that why I was having, like, that option? Ouchie. It's my charge attack. Oh, yeah, it's just that, like, whatever that is. Still can't lock on anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like how Cloud keeps getting kidnapped. Oh, that looks so cool. The Buster Sword and the Odachi. Hell yeah. Oh, I was hoping the tail was going to go flying off. That would have been so cool. Sephiroth. What is this thing? I haven't been looking at its name. I've just been killing it. Been slicing and a dicing. <laughs> Time to be a hero, Cloud. I, uh... Till we knock it down. Yeah. True. Sep Whoa, I got a lot of things. Arrow. I can even go like Arrow Ga. Of course, too. Uh, sure, let's go with that one, I guess. Arrow Ah. Oh, it requires time. I see. I crippled its leg. Ha! Ah, get crippled, idiot. Um. Hold up. Cloud spells. Give me a cure. Yeah, give, 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 give Sephiroth the cure here. So I'm kind of, uh kind of in pain. I keep, like, pressing R2 instead of the, um, R R1. This way, thank you. That dash, that, that like, dash, dodge that we have, very useful. Now, you got staggered. I think he also picked up Cloud, but uh, it's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Do I have a, uh, oh no, I see my limit breaks behind me. Okay. It's like a, a different bar, like a yellow bar. Understood. I mean, yeah, I prefer my, uh, I prefer my, uh, like, physical attacks. It's not... Is this thing, like... It's got, like, the little, like, no on it. Oh! Yeah, apparently. Didn't expect rocks from the ceiling. Stalactite! Yeah, I guess I probably couldn't have hurt him when he had that, like, little thing on him. You're practically panting. Yeah, you are. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. Damn. Cloud puppy boy wife. I know it's a cutscene, but I still got all of my, like, HUD stuff on. Yeah. Siphon Mako. Then tables on the beast of the mountain with the coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Huh. Use the double helix synergy ability from the command menu to bring the material guarding crushing down to the cave floor. Hi. Is that, uh, this thing? Synergy abilities. Oh, okay. It's this one. I see. Okay. I don't know why I suddenly had that, but sure. That was insane. And we're not done yet, though. <laughs> what was that? What was that camera angle right there? Can I uh, get away from that a little bit? Thank you. I don't know what the... Um, I don't know what the... Uh, yeah, I can just do that from forever. When we're done. When we're done, of course. I don't know how to use that one ability. Like, is it going to always tell me that I can use the synergy ability there? Hmm. Cloud! Not my boy wife! Sephiroth! The fan service here. The, the, the energy in this room. 
Ai, ai, ai. Nice work. God, it's so yaoi in here. It's so yaoi in here. Okay, hold up. What's up, Barrett? Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Right? Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. <laughs> Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Maybe we should have started a little bit closer to that point then. Like right now, we're just kind of... I don't know. It definitely feels like we should have probably started the story at around this part. Instead of going at the beginning of Nibelheim. Oh, well, whatever. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! Getting left out I again? Go too. Please? How can you say no to that face? No civilians. Oh. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Hmm. You can kind of see Carry his on. face as well. Because, yeah, from Crisis Core, we know that this Shinra soldier right here is actually Cloud. And the Cloud that we've been controlling is, uh, is Zack. <laughs> you can even kind of tell. Like, they kind of have the sim similar, like, facial features. And then again, you know, anime facial features. Kind of, uh, kind of one of the same, huh? Can you smell the boy's love? I, I could. And in that room, whenever we were, Sephiroth and Cloud were fighting together. My god. The, uh, the yaoi was, was palpable. You could, you could cut the tension with a knife. I'll be honest, I thought that was, that, that axle up there, I thought it was a, uh, lot like a, uh, oh, what are they called, like a barbell. To be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Then let me guess, pillagers don't have a clue about this. Oh, no way. Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. Nah. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? You probably should. Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. There is an elevator there. Shit! I broke my contract. Kind of wish they kept to the old Final Fantasy VII concept art. So far, that actually looked like a TikTok thirst trip. Yeah. He's definitely looking more and more like... <laughs> like e-boy definitely looks more e-boy than uh how he kind of the concept arts would, would make him be but like you know for right now he's he is a like a hero so he's got that purity meter going off the off uh, off the off the charts it's just like fable you know the more good things you do the that more handsome beautiful you look and then whenever you start doing the uh the evil things you start looking more m you know dismorphed and chaotic which is such a cool aesthetic. Oh, we need to bring that back. Can I go through this door? No. Okay. Order has him as a slunch back, tired looking dude. Cloud was stock here. Yeah. But then they went with the e boy and twink look. Although was, I think Cloud is a bit stockier in this one than he was in the first part of the remake. They made him a bit less twink like. Cloud bridging on bug eyed while he's looking at Sefi. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps. You'd like to say a few words to your sword first? Ah, uh, just like how Angel did. And Zack. I'm going to tutor my class now, so I'll leave the stream open. Hey, no worries, glistening. Have a good uh, tutoring session. Appreciate the lurk, as always. Hopefully your day's going oh well. Good luck with my anime swordsman. Yeah! Hmm. <laughs> Xenomorph! Kind of. Very alien Hojo, core. You are really something. Yeah. Yeah, Hojo's, uh... <laughs> the end of the first game is enough of a, of a reason why Hojo is just off his rocker. I'm going to take the ancient Aerith and impregnate her with this dog. Huh? Bro, what? You are crazy, man. Crazy. I don't even remember what his, like, reasoning behind that was. Genova? That's Sephiroth's mom's Wasn't name. That... Yeah, it was. 
Oh, okay. God, that looks so cool, though. Oh my god, this game looks beautiful. This is even with reduced graphics. It's Genova. Go out and shut off the valve. KK, bestie. I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen in here. So how's the audio been? Do I need to turn the music down anymore? Because I did turn the music down a little bit, considering it seemed a bit... I don't know, a bit overpowering of the dialogue. Oh, hold both of them. HOLD! I remember back whenever I played Gears of War, right? We always... like, I played it with a friend, and we always made a... a joke about how... Gears of War, you play as these extremely buff, burly dudes, right? But you have the hardest time, like, opening valves and doors and whatnot. And, like, so whenever we did, like, the button prompts to, like, open up something, we would always be like, Aah! And, like, you know, just level up to Super Saiyan to open up those things. Oh. If I keep holding them. Oh, I see. If I keep holding the button, I'll just keep my stance there. Interesting. Voices could be a bit higher. Okay. I can't actually, like, voices are maxed out. Voices are maxed out, but... I can turn the um, uh, the, the the music and sound effects down a little bit. Turn that down to six. I'm gonna turn that down to eight. Yeah, so ten, eight. But this was six. Whatever. I guess I didn't press the confirm on that one. But yeah, I think that should probably be fine. That should be fine. Yes, thank you, thank you, nine vote. Oh, so that door is broken. It didn't really. Re Recognize it the first time. You got your Adachi out. More of those weird bug things that despawn. Very, very eco-friendly. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. A M. <gasps> oh no. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals. That's very satisfying the way he's cutting through those tubes. New breed of monster. Very satisfying. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Music's getting intense. Look. Not the villagers! Not the villagers! Oh, those things remind me of those remnant monsters. Like those tree monsters from Remnant. That was an interesting game. Like Goku going Super Saiyan open up a jar. Yeah, basically. That's how we always like. Every time that I see a valve handle. My mother's name was Genova. I always think about those. Could it be that I You're a test tube baby too, was Sephiroth! Created the same way. My god. Monsters. Explains Except the cat eyes. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. He's just like me, for real, for real. Like this. I feel like Not every kid thought like that. This. I feel like every single kid. Like when you were young, you were like, yeah, I am special. I am different. And then you grew up to be perfectly normal. Or you like anime. Am I even? Human. More human than human. More human than human. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. There was a whole freaking series of events that you skipped over there. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. <laughs> Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? What's next? What's next? Didn't tell a soul where he was going. And no one has heard from him since. Until now. Hey, we're back to Nibelheim. 
Back to the flashback. Flashback to the past. Oh, there goes Sephiroth. Oh, I forgot to turn the heater off. I was like, man, it's getting warm in here. Why is it getting so freaking warm in here? I forgot to turn the heater off. Ha, ha, ha. Also, like, 70 outside. It's, like, really nice. Springtime is here. We have survived the winter. The summer is, is quickly approaching. And I can't wait. I freaking love summer. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor. And he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. I am a soldier first class. I do not have time to deal with you. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Maybe. What's up, Geralt? Hmm? Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. I literally cannot look at this guy without thinking about Geralt. <laughs> that beard, that hair, that build. He's just way happier than, than Geralt ever was. Oh, yo, 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 nice big sword. Thank you, Dada. Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Trying duck fries? Nice apple? I don't know what's... Oh, these guys are actually talking about something. I guess I'm following them. But duck fries? What, uh... What does that in in encompass? Are they using like duck eggs for uh, for uh, for like? Cause they made like fries and eggs. That that's pretty good. Like potatoes and eggs, very good, very good combo. So I like duck eggs. I, I could imagine, but what are they? Not sure. <laughs> Even better. Ah, this manor. But yeah, like these events are so different from how Crisis Core went. How the real events went. Very interesting. Fries with duck meat? Hmm, I mean, interesting. I've never had duck meat. Or so, uh, I'm curious. God, I, mean, I remember playing Crisis Core. Like, after that event where Sephiroth was, like, slicing all those test tubes up. Like, he, uh, he attacked Zack. I think he attacked Tifa as well. Um, Cloud was just basically a little soldier boy. I think he was, like, cowering in his boots, to be honest with you. And uh, then, like, we woke up in this tower, in, in this manor, and the only, like, outfit that was left was a soldier first class outfit, so Zack put that on Cloud, which is why he woke up in this garb, and why he thinks he's Zack. <laughs> took a look around the place. Man took everything but his social Except security number. To be seen. Are we, oh, can we do another piano? Ah, I wanted to see if I could play the piano again. The piano is so hard in this. Like, I, I didn't have any sheet music, so, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know anything, but like, I'm curious to get some street music and try that again. Duck meat is strong, very distinct. I'd be definitely curious to try it. I enjoy trying new things, right? Always cool. God, I really want some, um, like around where, like one bar around where I live has, eh, not even around where I live. It's kind of like, like a 45 minute drive away from where I'm at. But, um, they, they got, uh, these. Never knew it had a basement. Was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Probably not. But they had these these uh, these waffle fries mixed with like chili, brisket, chicken, uh, and then like two types of sauces. There's like a cheese sauce and then some sort of um, I don't I don't even know what it, like a barbecue I think. And oh my god, it's so good. Oh, brisket on um, on, on cheese fries. Oh. That's dead. That, that's dangerous. That's so good. I'm a lark. Hey, no worries. So dead. Always glad to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully everything's going well for you. But yeah, yeah. Always appreciate you stopping on by. Hope you enjoy your lurk. Still gonna be going for like another hour and a half or so. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Valve back there. I do remember this as well. Yeah, there's two test tubes in here. In Crisis Core, there's two test tubes. And there's also some scientists. Um, cause Zach was in one of them, and Cloud was in the other one. Excavated from a two thousand year. I think Zach like went postal and like murdered that scientist thesis. too, which is very cool. Professor Gast named this. <laughs> hey, look, it's Tifa in our chat. Genova. Nice, nice. Welcome on in, Tifa. Glad to see you. Thank you for stopping on by. Welcome on in. And how are you doing? <laughs> Verified as an ancient. MEGL 913-1977. Genova Project approved. What are you talking about? Sephiroth! So, 
they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, look at those pores on his face. This is even they with grew ambitious. Of course, right? Even with reduced graphics, hey, so this game Sephiroth. looks so good. What you got there? <laughs> What's that? What are you reading? <laughs> Leave me be. Best buddy. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, wasn't there actually? Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Yeah, we did go there once. He started reading, reading all these reading. books. Like then I think we obsessed. went back there for some reason, and that's when shit hit the fan. So that's so today, six day with a light breeze. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, it's about that for me as well. East Coast is living it up right now. Got some beautiful springtime, even some like summertime weather right here. Ah, I'm so happy. So happy. That plus being able to start Final Fantasy VII a Rebirth. Whew. Good times. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And an ancient's. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. That, ha that really worked out well for you the first time, huh? Yeah, don't go anywhere without your sidearm. With your big iron! Emphasis on big, because holy shit. Eating outside and everything? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that bar that I was talking about, it's got uh, an outside, like, area. Oh, man, it's so nice. <laughs> Having a few drinks there, enjoying those uh, brisket fries. Ooh. Cloud. I could go for that right now. The most fascinating passage. Really working as one brain cell. Real. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. That's not what those words were saying. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. I also love the redacted she words. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Get conceived, get conceived, get conceived. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas wondrous experiment. I feel like there were some apostrophes around that wondrous. He created you? God, why does Sephiroth look like this? Why is he so hot? It's not fair! Be more like your concept art. Give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> Oh, is he crying? Oh, are you crying, Sephi? <laughs> Fire burns bright as soon as it's about to go out. I should go. Mother is waiting. <laughs> oh, great. He's a mama's boy. Yeah, he's looking hey. awfully evil hey, right about now, isn't he? Oh damn! You have to throw me like that. Why well, you gotta be so mean? <laughs> I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? Did we, were if we talking about this story all day long? Maybe I could have saved the village. It's nighttime now, and it wasn't the daytime earlier. First time that we saw them all sitting around. Or tried, at least. I might be forgetting already. Shinra Manor entrance. What? Yeah, you know, shit's hitting the fan, as it do, as it be. It's so funny though. This is reminding me so much of the. Uh, uh, the, the, the Crisis Core ending, hey, you. but it's the very beginning of the game. The villagers need your help. Uh, sure. Oh, wasn't this like a time-sensitive thing as well? I feel like I remember, uh, like in Crisis Core, it was like time-sensitive about how many villagers you could save, 
But at the same time, there was also items to be found. So you had to like make a decision about look for items or save people. I mean, if you knew where everybody was at, then you could just get everything, but <laughs> I definitely did not. I mean, we'll try to save as many people as we can. Like I said, I don't even know if we, uh... Oh. Okay, first thing that... Wait, yeah. Like, is, that's Claudia. Oh, no. No, no, it's not Claudia. Kind of similar. Just a fire makes her hair... A little bit brighter. Come on, Cloud. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Use Akira and just get over that broken leg of yours. Come on. Okay, guys, you don't have to push me. I'm limping here. Yeah, freaking Sephiroth over here casting all the Faraga. Or like maybe a Zeta Flare? I don't know. Does the Flare do fire damage? I don't remember. Sure, I'll go this way. Mayor! What's that valve do? I feel like I want to turn that valve just because, I don't know. I see a valve, I want to turn it. Instinctual. Well. Hold on, Pump. We gonna climb over that anyways? No? Not gonna climb over that? Okay. Can't turn that. I guess we're going the other way then. Is there anywhere else I can go? Like, I know it adds, like, tension and whatnot to uh, the game. The dude just casually walking as he ran out of the the house. <laughs> what was that thought process, dude? Dude busted down the, the door like Kool-Aid Man, and then just was casually walking after he broke it down. Stood there for a second, and then was just like, ah, uh, knees gave out. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's blood on my sweater already. Sephiroth spaghetti! Thank God there's these little things on the ground that tell me where I need to go. I don't even have to think. Posted the noms, fantastic. Oh, oh, I'll have to check it out later. But yeah, but I do have a Discord, so if uh, anybody's not in it, Twitch, I've got a command that allows you to uh, join it. Post the link in the chat. And on YouTube, I got it in the description. It's probably in my description as well on uh, Twitch, but, you know, we got commands as well. You couldn't have done that on the first one. I guess you were still feeling a little achy. You're feeling better now. Like, come on, we could have just jumped forward. Please, please be okay. Mother, mother, mother. That's two streams in a row that um, that was appropriate. Security officer saying, "Ma." Yeah, that's a little, little bit of a. If you understand what's going on. If you know that that soldier is actually Cloud, and that who we're controlling is actually Zack. Yeah, you don't want to open up doors. If you feel heat emanating from a door, it means that there's a freaking inferno in there. Run away. You have to leave. We're even on the ground crawling now. This is a real memory that we were having. I love that. I love that there's like actual hey, hey. what you're actually seeing. Hey, Why are you so mean to Cloud? He's a baby. Okay. He deserves it. Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Let's get you up. Ooh. Odachi says otherwise. <laughs> but I am Cloud, so I must be mean to Cloud. For he is I. And I hate myself. For loving you! <laughs> Sephiroth. You monster! You think that's the first person that Sephiroth has killed? You think that's the first innocent person that Sephiroth has killed? I'm just saying. You don't become a war hero without killing a few innocents. Sephiroth. What about muskets do they got? Like some repeater carbines over there. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna work out. Also, that uh, tin right there that's in front of me would be scalding hot. You guys should probably shoot already. Yeah. Everybody else has got a gun. Why are you looking at the dead guy? Pull the trigger, idiots! 
They're still not... Oh my god. Actual idiots. Foolish cloud. Foolishness! For real. Oh, double this time. The adaptive triggers on this feels really good as well. So I don't know if I needed to be pushing forward, but I have been. Probably just needed to press the button. Mayor John! Please pull the trigger! At least you'll do something compared to the other guys. Yeah, it's like a repeater carbine of some sort. Cowboy repeater. Disappointing. Ooh. Like, that gun probably was not going to save you anyways, but, uh... You could have at least died with honor. Instead, you just freaking died. Like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, for real. Or blubber. Better not to put pressure on the blade? Yeah, I mean, his blade probably is quite warm right now, considering all this fire around. He was just walking past Cloud. Sephiroth! God, if this is not iconic looking, though. My God damn, it's beautiful. Nah, there it is, baby. The classic Sephiroth looking at us through the fire and flames. His OST is as well. Iconic. <laughs> I'll play with you later, Cloud. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Yeah. This is what I was thinking about earlier. God, in the Crisis Core, we actually had to, like, go God, through I there. there had to fight our way to the reactor, which sucked. Because we were also slowed. Showed up. Dad decided that he was going to confront him. That explains why I've never seen your dad before. <laughs> dad. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of familiar. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't uh, I don't he? see any stab wounds or slash wounds or any wounds. Who's the twink on the screen? That's me. Hi, Sky Axon's death. <laughs> What's up, Citrus? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. I'm sick of this. I'm more interested in seeing Cowboy Tifa though than uh. I'm sick of all of this. Oh, Cloud Strife over here. Oh, poor Tifa. Poor Tifa. But also Cowboy Tifa. Hello. <laughs> Why did he leave his Udachi back there? Bro, imagine if, if Tifa used the Udachi instead of, like, her fists. Or, like, if she could use either of them. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> As they say, save a horse. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I... I <laughs> but how you doing, Citrus? Welcome on in. Hopefully your day's going well. Hopefully your morning's going well. I'm pretty excited because... Oh, man. I have come for you. So far, they've changed quite a bit in this remake. Now, open the way for me. Like, we're basically playing Crisis Core right now instead of Final Fantasy VII. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. It's true. He did do all of that. Stabby, stabby. Aw. Bro just grabbed his blade. That blade would cut into your hand so badly. Tifa, no! That's fine. We know she's still alive. Ooh. A very small cut, all things considered. A very small cut, all things considered. Never played the OG, but I know the story through osmosis. Yeah, pretty much the same. I've never played the original Final Fantasy VII, but I've seen videos of it. Other streamer friends played it. That's why I was super excited to play the remake, considering... Hell yeah. Blood! It's a very small cut, though. Like, that Odachi's so long, that thing... He could have totally bisected her. Two Tifas. Hey, yo, two Tifas? You promised you'd save me. If I was ever... trapped... or in trouble. So where were you, Cloud? Where were you? <laughs> Two for one, Tifa. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah. 
I don't even know what I'd do with that much Tifa. But it certainly wouldn't be a problem. He angry. Angry Cloud. Wasn't... I feel like in the original, though, I, I feel like Tifa actually did stab Sephiroth with the, uh... With his Odachi. Here I am. Your son. Might be Mother. misremembering, though. Together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. Your the mom's kind of... Land. Sephiroth! Kind of hot. Very metal. None of us could handle too much Tifa. <laughs> Couldn't handle it, but it would certainly be something Mother. I'd be willing to attempt they to handle. Again. <laughs> the ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. Cat eye. I love how his people keep Are dilating all that. To be sad, mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. Um Oh, okay. I was like, Sephiroth, what are you, what are you doing there? Okay, now that, you know, you know, you killed my mom, you killed Tifa, my village, my home. <laughs> the same mommy over there looking kind of, she looking kind of fine. They were mine by right. What? Their lives? Damn, Zephyroth. This planet too, for I have been chosen. <laughs> He's no longer the handsome E-boy daddy. He's now evil. No, not you. Whoever the hell you are. This is why you don't read books. Reading leads to you becoming evil. Don't read. Stay say so. Yeah? Yeah? That was a lot of... <laughs> a lot of jump cuts. <laughs> Aight. And what happened? We will never know. At least we'll never know what... Freaking Cloud's retelling of that whole story will be. And that's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. You misremembered a lot. The hell it is? What happened? <laughs> it was all Gotta love news. Barrett. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But nope. then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Then yeah, they kissed. The news yeah. outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Hell yeah, All Barrett. Dumbasses believe that shit. Hell yeah, Question. Barrett. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, 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 I didn't say uh. that. <laughs> what I meant was... <laughs> screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. Oh, God. I love them. This group that we got right here. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Yeah, he was the final boss of the last game. Whatever happened. Part two of this remake. Alive. Shit was great. You know about alive so much as around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what... Preparations are complete. World domination inbound. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. Talk about After mommy issues. Years? Wow. Or ma a mama's boy. Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Also, I'm really loving those moments where like the TV statics a little bit. It's like when Cloud's not What's remembering something correctly. Me is all this Genova stuff. <laughs> What's bothering me is how we're in calm. Last time we saw Aerith, Tifa, Red, Barrett, Excuse Cloud, me. everyone was dead. I guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. <laughs> you was a stiff. Let me take a look. <laughs> <laughs> You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. Hey, what time is no it? No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? 
Oh yeah, and Red can actually talk as well. That was the dog that Hojo tried to. Uh... That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. <laughs> See you tomorrow. But yeah, Red, that dog, that's the one that Hojo tried to breed Aerith with. Which is so weird to say. Oh man. Sleeping on the couch again. Aw. Look at their pajamas. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Not really pajamas, just Barely. not wearing their overshirts. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? Oh, you know, around. You're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. <laughs> oh, so what's up with that, like... Probably did, at one point. A tiny blanket. All that stuff was taken from me, though. There's an entire or blanket, an entire bed. Maybe erased? Why are you just using this little, like, foot blanket thing? That hotels give you. By whispers? Hey, yeah, those whispers. That's how yeah. this game fixes a lot of the, like, issues that the game has. Because <laughs> Final Fantasy VII has a lot of moments where things don't really make sense why, why? or they kind of jump around. Those whisper things are how this is gonna sound crazy. they fix them. As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Thank you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. His story was so incorrect, and I was like, Tifa should know this. I mean, to be fair, he was in Nibelheim, but he wasn't Soldier First Class. Is Tifa still wearing her harness? I just realized. <laughs> nice. I like how there was two beds and Bear was just like, alright, fine, whatever. I'll take the couch. I still love that, that the material that's on her gauntlet. You up? I feel like the dog would have woke up first. Dogs have really good senses of hearing. Gotta keep that side iron on you. Your big iron. Even when going to meet a girl. The most dangerous of things. But hey, we're finally in the like actual game now. No more like backstories. No more. Well, you know, we're probably gonna go back to some backstories, but we're not going to uh, be flashing back as much right now. Ooh, nice and dark as well. <laughs> level 15. What happened to my 25 levels from earlier? And whatever, like whatever experience that I had in the first game. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, like, it was, there was such a weird moment there. We had, like, Zack was carrying Cloud. I thought Zack was dead, but apparently Zack's not dead. And he was carrying Cloud, and he, he gave Cloud... To that one girl who's, I whose name I can't remember, but a yo punk waifu, a yo, <laughs> she cute. Um, and then like we saw like Aerith and Red was in one of those like Apache helicopters. They got brought down because Red bit the <laughs> pilot, and we went over there and Red and Aerith like Aerith was seemingly dead. Red definitely felt dead. I don't know. There's so many like weird moments. I don't know what's happening with all of that. Sorry. Hopefully Did that'll get you? explained. Nope. What's going on? Cloud, you up? Oh, well, I am now. It's nothing really. For it's real. Just something I need to ask you. So can we talk? I mean, he even said that sure. like he was like, Great. Tifa died. I'm not here. She's literally standing Follow in front me. of us in this like Cloud's telling the story like, and then Tifa died, but she lived. Like, bruh. One of the Madagascar? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's so many, like, holes in a story. Which, I mean, it makes sense, but, like... I'm more worried about, like, what's going... Sephiroth! Sephiroth! You know that I killed her. Well... So, who is she? That's what I was asking! <laughs> or rather, what is she? <sighs> Granted, though... That was a very small cut. I don't think that a cut like that could have killed. Who's that? Who's that dude? Looks like freaking, like, Lewis or whatever his name was from, uh, Resident Evil 4. Ah, oh, such a good Resident Evil game. Ah, pretty flowers everywhere. Awfully romantic of an area. Hey, yo, Tifa, where are you taking me? Where are we going? 
Guys, this is such a vibe, though. Being on top of a rooftop in the dead of night. Vibes. Do you think Midgar's over there? I don't know. Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. So awkward. Shoot. Cloud does not know how to talk to pretty girls. Granted, that night, same. Five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. You had a paper cut on your... Saw your wound and... Stomach. All the blood. It was so little blood. Now, Kith. I figured it was too late. Yeah? I love how both of my chats, the final, the last message, the most recent message is, they kithed. They kissed. <laughs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I'm kind of surprised you didn't question that when he was telling the story, but... Yeah, like, what's up? More Keith. Tifa is. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you, but here we are. <laughs> here, look. I'm looking. Respectfully, hey yo. A scar. That proof enough? <laughs> After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor. And down the river. All right, so right. Know, there's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. Hey, I'm yo. Now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? <laughs> In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. I had to go get milk. You no, know, I can't tell you that. Oh my god. Oh my god, Cloud. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Cloud, you blew it! How do you have a knockout hottie like Tifa over here, extremely concerned about you and your well-being, and then you're just like, huh, can't tell you anything. Bro, you're not sounding cool, you're sounding like an asshole! Oh my god, idiot! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I showed you my scar, please respond. And he's just like, left on red. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate him. If you choose the second option, she would have given three music notes. Uh, if only I was able to... If, if only I was given an option. Turn that sexy jazz music off. That's nothing sexy right now. Oh, hi, Tifa. Do you still need space? I'm surprised she's not in her room, to be honest. I thought we could just pick up where we left off. Like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. How do you fumble baddies this bad? I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh my god, Cloud. Baka. Options, be normal or accuse her of being fake and dead. <laughs> yeah, like, literally, what the hell? I'm gonna go downstairs. Let's see what's going on down here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Zero out of ten. God. Man has negative riz. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? Perhaps. If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. Hey, yo. Innkeeper got backstory? I like how he's got, like, a legitimate model. He doesn't look generic. He looks, uh, kind of special. What the hell is this? Like Mako Propane? Eh, and sure. Grandfather Clock. This is a very pretty inn. Like, very pretty. Like, it's a high class establishment. Not any, like, tavern or anything. You guys sure we got the Zenny for this? Psst. Why is it only jazz music up here? Can I. Best to leave them alone for now. Uh, I mean, probably, but. You two fight. No. <laughs> we have enough problems as it is. Fighting would assume that I had a chance of winning, and all I did was lose. Back to bed. 
with the pauldron on. I feel be that'd be so uncomfortable. Tomorrow is another day. Indeed, Red. Indeed. Pretty sure you could name Red in. Well, I guess you could technically name all the characters in the original game, huh? But yeah, and this is now uh, just Red Thirteen. A new journey begins. Chapter two. We still got like an hour of stream left. Hell yeah. I was hoping that we was gonna at least beat chapter one. Like, you know, the prologue chapter type deal. Aye, aye, aye. Especially considering, like, it was basically just Crisis Core. Just, a, uh, It was like a fan-made parody of, uh, of Crisis Core. <laughs> like, I self-inserted... Like, Cloud self-inserted himself as the main character. And just told the story almost correctly. Very funny. Alright. But yeah, how did we get to calm? Why is there a box on my... Yeah. A gift from our humble establishment. Hey, yo. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Hey, yo. Queen's blood? Oh, God. Oh, God. Not another card game. Not another card game. I don't want to play cards. I want to play Queen's blood. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I don't like card games. Uh, it's a lot of reading. New Queen's Blood players awaits your challenge and calm. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Uh, like, I didn't mind the, like, Blade in Legend of Heroes, considering it was literally just... Like, you, you put down a card, that's your score. Other cards would, like, dictate whether or not you would gain or lose points. And it was very quick, very easy. You didn't have to, like, think about things. And there was no cards to get. But now we're playing like Magic the Gathering, and I'm just like, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. But that mini map up there, though, is very well defined. Like, it's even showing like beds and tables and like sofas. It's, it's showing a lot of things. Crazy. This is a very nice room, though. Holy shit. Oh, wait, they had a. What? Oh, they had a balcony? What the hell? Does this peek into my room? Wait. This peeks into my room. Well, the, <laughs> the girls had this whole balcony area that you could then, like, perv on us. Oh, my God. Aerith and Tifa were, were peeking on us. Oh, speaking of them, they hi, Tifa. Sorry, I'm such a dumbass. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. Kind of funny how the freaking windows right there. Like, it'd be fine if there wasn't windows there, but there are windows there. So, like, what the hell? It was like, your, your wrist is so bad. Just play cards. Yeah, yeah. Give up on your dreams of ever getting laid. You, uh... Of course. You There's play no magic now. Hey, that's the first game that we did. Ha <laughs> I did Good that. Morning, sir. Oh, hi. I didn't even see you there. I must apologize for not introducing After myself to you earlier. Bro, he's so handsome. The owner of this inn. Why is this dude so handsome? Have all stepped out. <laughs> oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. Yeah? What's you that? missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Nah. I, yeah, yeah. The equipment. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Perhaps. Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? The hell you just call me? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. The hell's a folio? If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Oh, hell yeah. That's how they get you hooked. Hey, bro, bro's got like a jawline and a half, though. Like, what the hell? Broden here. Well designed. I like your design, Chief. Finally. <laughs> what? You Rough waiting on me, Red? Yesterday, huh? More like last night. But yeah. What are we? You've been waiting for me. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Eh, that's Even no problem, so, dog. I owe you a debt. I love his like. Paid. Those gold little like I'm bracer things he's got. You. No, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's such a cutie. I want to give him scrunches. Like, oh, who's oh, a good uh, doggo? If you're getting your equipment checked, might be a bit demeaning, but while you're at it, 
Yeah, of sure course. Thing. <sighs> I love how even the dog has like anime boy hair though. Lion Popo! Hmm. Rook's got a backbone. I like him. But yeah, a little demeaning giving him scritches considering he's a uh, uh, whole thing. Overcoming challenges, helping people in the world. Just tell me about experience points? Wait, no. And deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. What the hell's a folio? The folios, you'll need them! The hell are they? <laughs> Get you a dog with anime hair? Yeah. Hey, yo, dog, I heard you like anime, so we got your dog. Put anime hair on your dog so you can be anime haired while dog. Play, but what if I lose? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Play your damn games. If you lose, it's a learning experience. That's a message for life in general. But I don't want to play because card games are... a lot. <laughs> also, it's so crazy how like, everybody looks in this. Like, everyone here looks very, like, standard. Like, they don't look like peasants. They don't look like anything like that. They don't look like main characters. They're just wearing, like, normal freaking outfits. Just normal freaking, like, just a suit. He's got, like, a, a, a uh, newsboy cap, and scarves, just shirts, skirts, uh, dress pants. Just a regular dog down there. Like, that's just so normal, but we're in, like, this extreme, like, fantasy setting. <laughs> kind of vibe with it. Tifa! You still mad at me? Probably. I'm mad at myself. Morning. Morning. No, I'm not mad at myself. I'm mad at Cloud. Doing their own thing. I noticed. You want to start rebuilding our relationship? Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Dying. Oh, I got choices. I uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the promise that I made to you. That one. Yeah. Place I made that promise. Quick time events. You remember the dress I wore? Nice. It was one of my favorites. Blue? Uh, the light blue one. Yeah. With a bit of green in there. That was been so yeah. long ago. That's been IRL years. <laughs> Uh, Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Is that one of you comrades' feelings towards Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as mm and mm? I actually love that. Although with, with Tifa, we are surprisingly not in hot water. She is uh, relatively okay with us being our dumbass self. There's a nice breeze today. Nah, I bet so. It looks like I'm in, like, Hogsmeade or something. Like, it literally feels like I'm in, like, like Disney, like, one of those, like, theme parks. Because everybody looks so normal and, and like, usual. Here. Like, you can see people wearing that, just, like, a hoodie and a sh just, like, dresses, blazers, dress shirts. Like, that's normal clothes. But then we got, like, all of these, like, very, like, medieval-esque buildings. And we got like this whole steampunk thing. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that, that's cool. Uh, like, I'm really interested about that. Being able to like bond with our party members in like sections like this. Even having like quick time events of being like, uh, saying this one. Which is the correct, what's the best option to say to this person? I like that. I like that a lot. Dude's got a bouquet of roses. Too late. Oh. Or am I here too early? Was getting here a day ahead of time overkill? Bro. Maybe I got a little carried away with this whole proposal business, but the weekly horoscope was crystal clear. Preparation is key. How else am I supposed to interpret that? <laughs> uh, uh, bro, like, that's sweet, but at the same time, a day early? Homie, do something with your time. You're a day early. The Rusty Arrow. Baird getting a drink? I could go for one. Look who it is. You up already? Drinking already? <laughs> no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. Then, what's that? Uh, first one's on me. Sure. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. I'd buy Baird a drink, hell yeah. Remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. <laughs> that's the only way you can do it, alright? No point in buying bottom of the barrel shit. You're gonna drink, you may as well have yourself a drink. Ah, I like that. Barrett the realist for real. I love Barrett in this. Like I, I remember seeing like things about Barrett in the original Final Fantasy VII, and like I always imagined him exactly how he's portrayed in this game. Nice polka music. Every time I hear music though, I keep thinking about that. Um, 
in the first game, in, in the first part of the remake, you were able to uh, get the songs. Also, is, are we in Venice now? Like, we got a little... Wait, is that like an engine? On yeah, there's an engine on the back of this boat. Eh, it's just a waterway. No, I, I can't help but think of waterways in Venice. Which, oh my god, I would love to visit Italy at some point in time. Ever since I played, like, Assassin's Creed 2, right? It was like, ooh, Venice, Italy, looks beautiful. Would love to go there. See the Roman Colosseum as well? Oh, I mean, cool. Yeah, some hick town. A glorious wall, keeping us safe and secure. <laughs> oh my god. Zahira. She's got a whole wall around her and playing this card game. I mean, the, the, that little, like, castle that they got in front of them definitely makes me think that it's definitely some sort of, like, magic or, or like, like Yu-Gi-Oh, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, they're very similar. But yeah, what's up, Aerith? How you doing? Finally decided to get up? Hell yeah. To my castle in Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> so what you been doing? Hydra, oh, thank you, Miguel. You, of course. Oh wait, I should probably you focus. Have. Got business with the bookstore? Yeah, if sure. So, I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards. Hell yeah. Want to climb the clock tower together? Yeah, hell yeah. Sure, let's do it. If uh, yeah, do it. Don't be a prick. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. I know you are a prick, Cloud. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the ticket. Aww. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Like, I know Cloud is a prick, but... I, 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 you know. I'm also a prick, but I don't want to be a prick towards... The lovely ladies. Not my friends. your first visit to one of our stores. What, what gave it away? Customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. sword? It takes time and experience to get it right. Care package. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Hmm. There's a hydrate. And a stretch. Oh. Oh, that's a good stretch. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Oh. After uh, almost three hours of sitting still, you definitely uh, uh, need a good stretch. Spend skill points at uh, Magnata Books locations and Automots to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your abilities. Uh, Alright, I don't want to look at this tutorial, but... Our skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points, SP. The cursor over skill core to see what it does. Uh, Firework Blade. Cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash uh, ranged attack. I don't... Displace the ability granted an SP cost. Now, to unlock the score, you hold it. I don't want this one. Well, I mean, whatever. So I got my synergy abilities. It's just uh, like a, like an MMO like skill tree. That's easy enough. I don't know why it's called a folio, but sure. You unlock skill cores. Adjacent cores become available. Yeah, yeah, that's common. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. Character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the Art of Swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be reset at any time. The skills spent will be returned. Oh wow, that's really nice. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface. Believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Nah. Everyone knows the correct shipping is Tifa and Aerith. Stop butting in, Cloud. Real. You're so real for that one, Apple. Okay, so yeah, I have 5 SP for all of them, 0 for myself. So yeah, it's, it's just a skill tree. Okay. And use range to blade, which is... It's a synergy skill. With your partner... Okay, so I guess this one can be with anybody? Yeah, okay, okay. It's with either Barrett or Red. That's kind of hard to see, but... Um, yeah, there's a little picture down there where it's Bullet Batter, so with Barrett. It's a physical attack. And then the Howling Smash with Red. It's a magical attack. Interesting. Whoa, 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 that's not what I want to do. This one's only with Aerith. So I could reset this if I wanted this one instead, but... Eh, I mean, it's fine. The synergy skills kind of seemed kind of weak, though. I could use them for free, but they didn't do a whole lot. Oh, and I can even, like, max HP up and things like that. That's cool. All right, Baird, what do you've got? Oh, uh, we got Baird and Red hone their focus. And then Iron Defense, which can be used with anybody. That sounds like that probably would be a little bit better. Hmm. I wonder how large this thing's going to be. Okay. All right. 
That's starting to look pretty large. At first I was like, oh, it's not that big. It's not that big, but now... Yeah. <laughs> it, uh... It might be a bit bigger than I was expecting. Alright. This is... Huh. Interesting. So we share experience in this. It's not individual, I, I guess. Because we all have 5 BP. Huh. Now, Kalanti will leave into the air, deliver a spinning attack. Temporary unlimited MP. Well, that's pretty cool. Team with the partner to jump, uh, perform a jumping attack. That's pretty cool, but, like, I don't know. The, uh, temporary unlimited MP. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Tifa uses, uh, makes his limit level increase. So, partner to defend you while you move about the field. Hmm. Wow, Cloud basically like, like instant transmissions over there. That's like, that's extremely quick. Uh, wait, can I make this? No, I can't even make it bigger. Oh, well, whatever. Sure. Tifa is like our white mage, so probably making her... You know, protecting her is probably a good idea, huh? Church forward regarding against incoming attacks. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And limit level increase. What do we got over here? Max HP up, and what's this one? Enhanced counterspin. Ooh. Wildfire... Wait. Am I... Like, that looks like I'm using that with Cloud, though. Can I use these that I unlock on, like, red skill tree with Cloud? That'd be weird. Let's go with this one. I don't know. I feel like having the one where it's useful for multiple people is probably a better idea. Probably a better idea. Alright, well, that's that, then. See you around. Kind of weird, but I don't know. I kind of vibe with it. Mm -hmm. Not exactly against the way it's going. Hmm. Like, if this game gets rid of, like, your traditional, like, standard leveling and instead has things like that instead, I can vibe with it. I can vibe with the, some, uh, like, skill tree type deal. Uh, I'm still, like, thinking about all those, those songs and whatnot. What is this little, like, Coliseum type deal? Huh. Put some shows on there later on, I suppose. Can I get a, uh, materia that shows, like, where all these treasure chests are on the map? So that'd be nice. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that guy's even talking about the music discs. We were dealing with them a whole lot in the first game. In the first part of the remake. Oh, you can actually jump in the water. Is there anything down there? I uh, don't know. Not feeling like getting wet right now. Hey, <laughs> yo, hey, yo, hey, yo? Look at these two. They were roommates. Breathe in that fresh air. Nah. I was breathing in a lot of fresh air last night, considering it was uh, actually my grandma's birthday. I have a lot of birthdays in April. And so I uh, went out there, spent some time with them, helped out with a few things here and there around their place. But they live, like, deep in the country, right? And so, uh, like, no self-service deep. <laughs> Very limited cell service, at least. And, uh, so I had plenty of fresh air last night. Kind of, uh, sorted my allergies a little bit, but, eh, is what it is. I take it our equipment is in order. Nope, not yet. What are you doing here, anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. Huh, my Twitch just died. Did it. I mean, it's still saying I'm sending stuff over there. I can't exactly see anything. Ah! Uh! I knew I could count on you. Flattery will get you nowhere. Okay, so it auto-picks whatever I'm, like, looking at. I forgot that those were time-sensitive. Ah! But at least I picked the correct one. At least I picked one that he seemed to appreciate. But yeah, like, apparently it picks whatever works. Ah, uh, wholesome. I don't know what you're talking about, but the wholesome. But yes. But uh, yes, I mean, I don't know. Stream's probably fine. I, I don't think. Like, I'm still sending all my bitrate. I've had a few little, like, connection issues, but it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too awful. I did hear, though, that, like, YouTube's been having a lot of issues with streaming lately. Like, a lot of people have been having issues with even setting up streams. So, that's weird. Might be some sort of, like, weird update in YouTube and Twitch, or even OBS. Don't know. I do have an update in OBS, but I am not touching that. I have not had an issue, so I'm not touching it. Because, yeah... That's, uh, not a good idea. I, I've, uh, definitely screwed myself over with updating OBS and then, like, something not being compatible. 
So I always hold off on the updates until something really bad goes wrong. Uh, you helping Grandma Sky? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Things like that, oh, it, it's weird to me. Like, I don't uh, necessarily think it's anything worth celebrating or, like, praising me for. It's like, huh, I help, or, like, you know, I went and uh, celebrated, or, like, went to see my grandma on her birthday to celebrate her birthday and, like, helped her out with a few things while I was there. Like, I, don't, I feel like that's just kind of... I feel like that's kind of common. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of basic, bulk standard, like, what a grandson should do. At least, you know, like, it's, I mean, it's not like she's states away or anything like that. She's just like, I don't know, 30 minutes down the road or something like that. I say down the road, but it's more like 30 minutes down through the forest, but. <laughs> so I don't know, it's, it's not even like a big deal. It's not like I'm putting myself out by doing that. I'm just, you know, spending, putting some time away and doing that instead of whatever else I'm doing. Where am I going? I'm looking for a, a, a store, but, uh, this one has a store, right? Yeah. Items vendor. Okay, and that's where I'm going. The armed and dangerous. And so there's more of these cardy things around. Um, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't take compliments very well, so when people compliment me about things like that, I'm just like, is this really worth complimenting me for? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. That is quite the weapon you got there, Thanks. Mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. Oh yeah. Three but whole that, characters it's worth. Still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby'll sing. Are we gonna just be like, upgrading the uh Buster you. Sword? Because honest honestly speaking, I'd much rather just upgrading my Buster Sword instead of getting new weapons. I do enjoy, like, how in part one of the remake I was getting all these different swords that looked really cool. But, like, the Buster Sword is, is Cloud's tried and true weapon. So it's weird. It's weird to me seeing him, like, swapping that out for something else. I don't know. Tough. Sky's a good boy. No. No. Upgrading weapons. I feel like I understand how weapon See, upgrades work. What I tell you. That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. An angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. I just got Hinder stuck in my head now. Honey, why are you calling me? It's so late. It's kind of hard to talk right now. Uh, lips of an angel. Pretty song. But no, it looks like we are still getting these weapons. I mean... I'm not gonna complain, cause look at that. Looks freaking cool. But it is still a bit weird. Um, uh, I do not have the money for that. Also, the only weapon I can buy is for myself. Weird. A bit greedy, wouldn't you say? Uh, but I believe, yeah, yeah. So proficiency bonus, exploit an enemy's weakness. I, if this is like how the first one was, we can, uh, we, we can upgrade our um. Uh, b -b 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 you take care of that weapon now. Like, once we, like, use a weapon so much, yeah. Because of the sync ability, which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to have said ability, even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Okay, so yeah, that's the exact same way that it's always been. Very glad, because that's, that's, I love that. Like, Tales of Vesperia did it really well as well, where you just have a weapon, you use that weapon for a while, you get the skill, and then you move on to the next weapon. It just, ah, oh, that progression just feels so good. It was so good. I didn't actually look to see how to upgrade my weapon, though. Like, I figured they was just, like, talk to that dude and then I can upgrade it, but... Yeah, I'm kind of hoping... I kind of wish that I could have, uh, seen that tutorial. I can probably look at it somewhere else. This is auto-upgrade settings. Manual. Yeah, I'd like to keep it manual. What am I doing? Because there's only buy and sell at that dude. At his store, so... Prioritize, deprioritize. Uh, I. What's my um? What's the skill that I get? Proficiency bonus, stagger an enemy. Um, focus thrust. Okay, so yeah, the Buster Sword has focused thrust. Whenever I am proficient with this weapon, I will get that skill, which means I'm going to be doing a whole lot of whatever it takes to make that proficient. I don't know if I can see what it does or not though. Oh, like a metal bracer. Except for those two. Huh. 
Barrett and Red have leather bangles instead of the metal bracers. Okay. Power wrist guards. Uh, increases strength by 5%. Okay, down there in the bottom right. Behind me. And then this is for magic, for Aerith, which is very good. Grants immunity to sleep. I mean, I'll give that to Tifa. Tifa would look good with a, with, with a headband on. She would. Why is there such a gap between Tifa and... Aerith. Like, for real, it's like Cloud, Barret, Tifa, Gap, Aerith, <laughs> and Red. I'm gonna be getting a new character put in there. Maybe. Uh, do I have any... Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this as well. Like, the material, there's like the... These ones as well, for like the... Yeah, the summons. So we got Chocobo, Ifrit, Shiva. I think I put the Chocobo on Tifa whenever I ha had them. Unless it's equipped, yeah, I don't care. Put that on Tifa. Uh, anything else we got? Nothing else. What is this? Martial Arts Mastery? What? Well, uh, weapon skills? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Why do I have these? What are these? Increases the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. Increases attack power when unbridled strength is active. With a 5% boost at chi level 1, 10% at chi 2. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. What is that? Why do I have that? Unflinching, overcharge, and max HP. Let's just go with the unflinching. Um, I'm gonna give him Ifrit, or do we want to give him Shiva? I don't know. Maybe we don't want to give him anything. Yeah, magic attack up. Just keep that on Aerith, and then the Cloud. I'll put uh, Ifrit on. Yeah, put that there. That seems better. Weapon damage, 5%, and max HP. Let's go with damage. I like me glass cannon. And Aerith, uh, wind damage. Increases fleeting familiar duration by 25%. I don't know what that is, but let's go with that. And then red, invigorating vengeance. Restores HP when activating vengeance mode. Ooh. Increases counter spin potency. Let's go with that one. I love passive health gain. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good thing. Hmm. Oh, I think actually if memory serves, I looked at my... Okay, here. Upgrade weapons. I can go here to upgrade my weapons. Yeah, this is actually similar to how it was in the uh, first one. Set weapon skills. No, that's not quite right. Uh, Unallocated SP for use in folios. Oh, do I have to use these in folios as well? I don't know what I upgraded, but apparently I upgraded like 15 things. Ah. Naruhodo. Naruhodo ne. Spells, uh, no, that's just my actual spells. That is very pretty, though, the way that everything's looking on screen. Looks really nice. Looks really well done. Inventory, photos, and manuscripts. Charts, clouds, personal growth, and probably everybody's. Look at these books, though. Looks really cool. This is Barrett's. Ah, <laughs> nice. Tifa just looks like a little diary. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Eris. Oh, that's very magical looking. Another diary. And then, uh, Red's has got, like, the tribal horn on it. Nice. I like how his is backwards as well. Like, his is more like a Japanese book, whereas everybody else is, like, English. Nah. Yeah. I like him. I like him. Mm, whenever Cloud comes to the end of frame, it's just like a jump scare. He's literally too beautiful. <laughs> Behold! Behold the twink. <laughs> He's a good looking dude though. He's a good looking dude. What I forget exactly how Conqueror said that Cloud was supposed to look. Stockier, that's right. Like in the concept art, Cloud was a lot stockier. Less twink. Although I think they like they did a side by side comparison of Cloud in uh the remake and in, in Rebirth. And he does look a little bit more muscular in this one. Which personally I prefer. <laughs> I find it very annoying whenever, like, I'm swinging around this giant hunk of iron, right? I don't want to have stick arms. Like, good god. I know I've got, like, magic power steroids in me, but, like, bruh. Bruh. He's so hairless. Drop your skincare routine, <laughs> king. It's like Twilight Princess Link, one of my most favorite Link. Oh, I love him. Oh, freaking Twilight Princess. I loved that game so much. By far my favorite of The Legend of Zelda's. Such a good one. I love Wind Waker as well. That one was very charming. And Ocarina of Time, that's the one I started with, but... 
Twilight Princess is so, like, gritty, so dark, and it looks so good. Ah, oh, man, I loved it. And then, yeah, modern. <laughs> the modern, uh, Legend of Zelda games, which are not even really Legend of Zelda games, which makes me sad. Okay, so yeah, I can put all my abilities or spells. <coughs> yeah. Skills on me. Chakra. Stores your own HP relative to damage taken. More effect when HP is low. Thought that was only a Tifa thing. Prey. I thought that was only a... Um, wait, these might be. These might be abilities that, like, other people have that I can, like, tell them to use. Like, shortcut-wise. Thought that, like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they are, like, against... Maybe everybody can use him now. I don't know. Twilight Princess Zelda changed my life. Truly. The, uh, the, the, the only brunette Zelda in the entire series. But, like, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Like, it, it, she was, she was like a dirty blonde. But, like, oh, she was by far the best one. They, uh, that, that is how you successfully change characters around. Change character designs around. Is by doing what Twilight Princess did with all of their characters. It looks so well done. Oh yeah, yeah. How's everything going? It's going well, going well. Need more Dark Zeldas? Oh hell yeah. I remember, what was it, Link Between Worlds? That one had like an entire like inverse world where like evil, or not evil, but like Dark Link. Well, not Dark Link either, considering that it already exists, but like <laughs> inverse Link and inverse Zelda. That was cool. I think the game was so striking I'll never forget it. Yeah. Oh, Midnight was awesome too. A freaking, out of all of the Legend of Zelda... Um, out of all the, like, navigational characters in Legend of Zelda, Midna was by far the best. By far. Navi was annoying. Tattle was uh, very annoying. V was okay. V, v was alright. But, uh, Midna? Perfect. Excellent. Perfect mix of, uh, sassy, not in your way, but also helpful. <laughs> she also did things, like, she was able to keep you, she helped you teleport, she helped you transform into Wolf Link, and she was uh, a target for you to, like, do uh, those, like, special jump sections. So many things. So many good things. But yeah, the second game's going well. I'm just looking at all... We beat the first chapter. And now I'm looking at all of my equipment and all of my everything, because there's a lot of things in here. So I don't really have a lot of things, but I got some things. I skipped the upgrade weapons, like, tutorial, because I was like, I don't need to worry about that, but now I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Apparently, I did need to do that. Apparently, I did. See, I can auto-upgrade things, which... Eh, maybe. Also, I'm trying to figure out what my one thing is. Also, yeah, I did unlock the cards, but no way. No thank you. Don't want it. Uh, I guess this huh. Basics. Nah, that's a little too basic. Equipment and character progression. Yeah, upgrading weapons. Uh, changing weapons. Prisoner. That's not quite right. I mean, it is, but... Wait, where's the weapon? There it is. Uh, raising your character's weapon skills. Stat boost, allowing you to customize your party, suit your play style. Character's weapon will not reset this level. Toggle the auto upgrade function to automatically allocate. Yeah, but I didn't see how to actually go into that thing. I was improving materia. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just by using it. Just by using it. Uh, folios and all that stuff. The armor, yeah, that'll make sense. Just don't know how to level up or, like, check to see what I need to do for my weapon, like, Points and all that stuff. Minda's great. I loved her to death. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Based tastes. Twilight Princess was so good. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, um, I enjoyed Wind Waker, but, like, that game was not edgy enough for me whenever I was a kid. And so, like, as I got older, I, uh, like, when, um, Twilight Princess came out. I was like, oh, yeah. This is the one. This is exactly what I was looking for. And then as I got even older, I was like, oh, okay, okay, you know what? You know what? Wind Waker's not that bad, after all. It's actually a very, like, charming, fun game. But still, Twilight Princess, ah, uh, absolutely stole the show. Amazing one. Every way, shape, and form. Even though you turn into a furry, it's still good. <laughs> that, uh, that, that era in, in particular was very interesting. Had a lot of furries in it. Like, we had, um, oh, I like how Aerith was my, like, screen right there for whatever reason. Let me know if something piques your interest. But, um... Like, Sonic Unleashed came out at, like, the exact same time. Like, I don't know what they were smoking, but they were on some furry shit at that point in time, huh? I want to buy the Sleek Saber. But I don't know how. I don't know how. 
La Rule, a Midnight with just bits. Oh yeah, La Rule. All of that from the 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 uh I forget what it's called. <laughs> Link to another world or whatever. That was cool though. It was very interesting. I don't know how I'm supposed to be leveling my stuff up. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with that, but I'm sure it's fine for now. I don't want to be staying in this menu for forever. Also, what is this behind us? Where are we? Whatever. It's fine. I like, upgrade weapons. There should be something here that allows me to upgrade my weapon, but... Unless I gotta go to that one place, which would be kind of weird. But yeah, like, I can't look into my weapons, like, world and upgrade that stuff. I don't know. Let's go back to the folio place. Let's see if maybe that's where I gotta go for it. I love how Sonic just gets more furry. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he was already a furry, but then they were like, but what if more furry? It was just weird. I don't know. That one was not well done. In my opinion, that one was not very well done. Hi, Tifa. I'm sorry I was a complete this dumbass last night. I sorry. I will try to uh, change Cloud into being more likable of an individual. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Bro had the negative riz, I swear. Yeah, he's lucky that he's uh, he's a handsome boy. He's lucky that he's uh, he looks like this. Cactuar King's completely sold out. Cactuar King. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Can I? Okay, no. So yeah, like I got my the folio place only does my like character one. levels. How do I do my weapon levels then? I am dumb and missing something here. I skipped the cutscene. I skipped the tutorial because I didn't think I was gonna need it. But now I need it. Like I can set weapon skills, but like that's for that. I don't even know where we really got these things from. Imagine it's just like on the fly, considering we have this whole like area, but there's no buttons on the screen telling me to do anything. Hmm. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with that right now. Also, I don't got the money to buy the other weapons, so I guess we're gonna just be moving on. What's behind uh, this place, though? <clears throat> Wait, like a general store. Mystery pizza? Hello, you've, and uh, to my humble shop. You, you, you've uh, struck my interest. Okay, potions, phoenix downs, antidotes, cushion. Nice you to use broken down rest spots. <laughs> nice. Nice. Got healing materia, fire, ice, lightning, wind. This chakra materia, which, yeah, that, that's the cool thing. Chakra is a really good skill. Which is why that I'm weirded out that I have it. They says, eh, steel probably be something I want to get, considering. Yeah, a lot of things. Oh, and we got booster packs for our Queen's Blade. I'm not touching those card games. You can't make me. You can't make me. Oh, that's good because you turn into a furry. <laughs> nice, 9 volt. Nice. I love cities. My favorite part of JRPGs are cities and just seeing the random people. This, yeah, the thing about Final Fantasy, especially the remake, is they seem so lived in. Like, you'll just be walking down the streets, and then people are just talking. They'll be saying, living their own lives, and, ah, oh, it feels so cool. Also, just, like, the way that the whole town looks. I I still can't get over how, like, Disney it is. Like, how very, like, Hogsmeade this whole area is looking. Like, everybody's just wearing normal clothes that you could see IRL. And then we're in these, like, mortar, like, these brick and stone buildings. These, like, what? What, what, what is this whole, like, design? It's an aesthetic. It is an aesthetic, but like... <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Well, Disney Waco, we got a new business venture for you. For real. Make Final Fantasy World. That would be so cool. Oh my god, a JRPG? Like, world? I don't want... Uh, I don't want Disney to own Final Fantasy, though. Even though there's a whole Kingdom Hearts thing. So there's kind of some weird rights there anyways. Eh... I am Baron Kyle Gate. Nice. Nice. Good job, dude. Good job. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we need to go over there and talk to Aerith on the tower. Which, uh, I suppose. Can't really buy anything right now. So, sure. We're getting close to the end of the stream, but I do want to see what's up with Aerith. I, uh, accepted her invite to the tower. Which I guess was mandatory. I guess even if we was a dick and told her, like, I don't wanna go to the tower with you. I guess we uh, would have had to have done it regardless. Cloud, over here. Aww, she's so cute. That's a very pretty building, though. Holy. 
I love the like moss on the side of the, the brick walls started, as well. Then, shall we? So cool. Have you been to Universal? I'm sure you'd love the Hogsmeade area. I've never been. Never been. Never been to Florida in general. To any of the um, like Disney, any, any like giant theme park like that. Never been to uh, any of those areas. I've I've more or less stayed within the, the the confines of like the upper to mid East Coast. <laughs> like that's the uh, how far south have I ever went? Uh, God, I, I don't know. Midgar's this away. Should I can't be, even think. Yeah. I need to look at a map. I'm forgetting states. But yeah, like I've been up to like New York and things like that, and I don't know about how far south I've been though. Hmm, for sure Final Fantasy 15 covers that JRPG type. It's true, it does. I did like Final Fantasy Funny, 15. It? How small it looks? Just me and the boys out it on the streets. God, that's such a sad game though. Ugh. So did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Yeah, a little so bit. <laughs> we're roommates, you know. They were roommates. Oh my god. She say something? Should try one one day? Not sure you got you six two, flags or whatever? No. Never been to one? Yee. Yeah. It'd be Still, fun. It'd be fun to give it a try at some point in time. So expensive though, too. I would have oh man. Anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Aerith, I'll be your friend. Don't take her for granted. I feel like uh, he's already been taking her for granted. No. Oh. Our fun time in Disney's been coming to a close. <laughs> Roommates, right? Didn't even mention what I actually ate. We shared the duck fries. Hey yo. I do remember you said. Like you posted a picture of duck fries in my Discord. Still haven't seen that yet. Is this a show? I don't remember this being on on, on the uh, itinerary. I'm <laughs> just a roommate. You, <laughs> you both said it. <laughs> Didn't even notice. You know the drill. Fly these terrorists. <laughs> but truly, the the, the best ship. <laughs> You're ruining our trip to Disney, Shinra. How dare! Oh damn, Apple! Those uh, duck fries looking hella nice. Oh yeah. They're looking for us. Like aren't some they? sort of pasta. Gotta be. <laughs> what? I don't think they're here to go see Mickey Mouse. So you know, or I guess Moogle Mouse, Mickey Moogle. Uh, uh. What's the Moogle's name? Yeah, sure. Why not? I didn't even know that there was a pole here. What in the fireman escape? Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have have done this yet, but whatever, it's fine. I waited three hours in line. I'm not going anywhere for real. God, imagine. Just what do you think you're gonna go? Imagine how pissed off you'd be. You went to freaking Disney. It was just next in line, then all of a sudden helicopters came in because apparently terrorists were hiding in the park. Uh, there you are. Oh, hey, Broden. It gives me like Kashiwagi vibes from Yakuza. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Who is this dude? I thought he was too handsome no to just be an innkeeper. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Oh, so this feels very different from how the original Final Fantasy VII went. I don't know. I never played it, so I, I can't say for sure. But follow me. From what I've seen of it, this seems very different. Yeah, I can't even run right now. Wait a minute behind. Ah, no worries. Ah, oh, no worries. But yeah, those fries looked amazing. Oh, wow. Well, we know we'll take the <laughs> those guys stared at me. Those guys stared at me, and I was and they're just like, ah, it's fine. He's fine. But yeah, it would be fun to go to like a, a theme park. Just make a day out of it. Not to worry about anything. Just have a good time at, at a theme park. Never really been there. Got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Oh, of course he is. Not exactly. Oh. Are you are you gonna be like turn out to be the boss of Avalanche? I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that, there's yellow. I can climb on yellow things. Haha. <laughs> up and over. <laughs> like how that's even the name of the mission. Nice. Oh no. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention it, I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. <laughs> Must have been my imagination. Get out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a few 
much you care about this. If only I could remember that. Yeah, Broden over here being a real bro. I'm liking him. <laughs> I mean, you're probably fine. So I love how there's just this whole area up here. Also, there's a helicopter up there. Are you saying those guys are not seeing us crawling around? We kind of stand out in a crowd. Whatever. Whatever. That's just when Disney bought Star Wars, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, shrimp mac and cheese. Is that what that was? Yeah, I saw it was like some sort of like pasta. But, uh, ah, it's nice. I had some shrimp alfredo the other day, and oh, man. No, but we're still searching it was some real, real like, high-quality shrimp alfredo. I was not expecting such high quality from Olive Garden. I have such a bad, like, experience with Olive Garden. It's never been good. And then, like, the, I went there, like, two weeks ago. And, oh my god, it was so damn good. Who are you waving at? Us? Aren't you trying to be, like, incognito? Inconspicuous? Eh, well, whatever. Totally not sus. Yeah, yeah, we're just totally. It's a big guy walking around with a sword bigger than he is. Totally not suspicious. The end's not much further. Stay on your toes. Gotta love your suspended disbelief of, of how dumb <laughs> everyone is. How dumb the enemies are. Alright, going in. Help from a local. I want Olive Gardens? Yeah, it was pretty good. Like, I don't know, maybe I was just younger, didn't appreciate it as much, but I went like last week and it was really good. Where are they? That shrimp Alfredo. Down below. That's some, uh, I think it was called confetti wine. Oh. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Like it was real sweet. I liked it a lot. People what have an Olive Garden, but it's not scheduled dining. It's not the terrible. Out there. Yeah. He'd be happy to help you. I I was hating on it as well, also, but I'm now a believer. This. What is that? Is that a calculator? You can't make me do math. Transmuter. Okay, thank God. Ooh, money. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique. But it still works. We can do alchemy with a calculator. Amazing. You'll get more use out of it than me. <laughs> How to save the world? Just have dumb enemies. <laughs> yeah. If only it was so easy. Transmitter, ten sprigs of sage and money. Why are you doing this? Some soup salad breadstick deal. Yeah. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. Probably. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Okay, thanks. Dude had a cough? Is, you, is that dude okay? I'm kind of worried for him now. Bro, you're kind of a bro. Uh, item transmitter screen in the main menu. You can convert raw materials into practical items. Cool. Mm, he's fine. Huh? I probably should, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Readings for nerds! I'm just gonna go and then get confused when I can't figure things out. Might have to look up a guy later. It's fine. We got the internet. I can look up things about how to do an air raid shelter. What's up, Barrett? Tifa? Red? I thought he's got the Charmander tail. You made it. All in one piece? I mean, Sorry, do I look like I'm in multiple pieces? For the love of where the hell have you two been? That's for us to know. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, Tifa getting jealous. Well, that was oh. the last one. At least till things calm down. Cloud getting concerned that Tifa is getting jealous. Oh. Nerds. Who's nerds? Who's the nerds? Uh. Huh? Nod. Now, let's move. Mr. Italian cream sodas they used to make. Oh, those were good. At, uh, nerds at Olive Gardens? Did they have, like, some sort of nerds, like, drink or, or like, food? I remember uh, Applebee's had... Oh, my God. I had to bring up their food to ensure the safety of... Every... Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. But uh, Applebee's sometimes has those, like, Jolly Rancher, like, dollar drinks. And, Where to oh. now? Like, they're not Where strong because they're dollar drinks, but... This way. Very good. Looks like a job for me. Now you can drink like five or ten of those things, and then you start feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty, pretty, for ten dollars. Pretty good buzz. I guess I'm gonna go last. Is that a, that's a chest. Hold up. How do you guys walk past this chest? Then again, there's also all of those, um, Sprigs of Laurel. 
There's also all those chests that were like in town that I was picking up and like nobody else ever picks those up. Why? Am I just that much of an idiot that I'm just like, oh, a chest, this is mine now and, and nobody's gonna say anything to the guy with a giant ass buster sword. That, you know, probably. If only it were a mimic. <laughs> yeah, that would've been pretty great, huh? That would've been pretty great. Right, everyone's waiting for me, huh? I'm following the rear, but at the same time, I'm the one. To push forward! Where are we at now? And there's for the reading. Oh, I see. Phone at Olive Gardens? No, no, they would make some heavy cream and mix it with seltzer and a fruit soda syrup. Sounds good, though. I love fruity drinks. They're so tasty. I love fruit in general. Ugh. The grasslands. Bro, this looks great. Just look at it, all. it looks great. It's so green. This is as bad as I can make this game look, by the way. This is as low graphics, low resolution that I can make this game. I have everything focused on performance over top of graphics. Living, and it still looks this damn good. Even after <laughs> everything we've done to it, Turn off the sun! We did that yesterday, Kaiju. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters... How do we cross these planes? It's a good uh, first question. Now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Hell yeah, Barrett. Left, your left, your left, right. What? Sell your helicopter. <sighs> More. Those ones with the I flat guess we bottoms. Won't be coming back anytime soon. So weird looking. Guess not. My three thousand dollar sword that I couldn't buy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh well. God, this looks so good. <laughs> we spend an entire game in uh, Midgar. The first step on our new journey. And we spend you three gotta... hours, maybe not even three hours, yeah. in calm. Of course we are. Definitely speeding the game up a little, huh? 30 hours to get through the first game in the first town. Second town you reach. You're kind of like... Let's get this show on the road! You're just having like some memories about another town. And uh, basically in and out. Choose your priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do that. Setting a destination. Oh my god. This map it looks huge. They do a farm uh, Vernon spoke of as marked by that. Okay. Press that for that. Okay. Oh, at the top of my screen, yeah, it has that, uh, like, like the, the compass shows. So, north is that way. I, honestly, I, I love compasses like this. Like, it's so minimalistic and looks so nice. Like, I do, like, many maps are very helpful, but, like, these, just like the compass at the top of your screen, look so nice. And, I mean, it shows you everything you really need to see, so, like, it's fine. And I still do have a map. I could also change it if I really wanted to. I could change it so that it's... That instead, the uh, the mini map. How big is this world map? Oh my god. Oh, so this is the entire map, huh? This is the entire map that we're going to be going to. Going on to BJ's front. All right, nice, that fool. Probably going to be ending stream considering we made it out of calm. But oh my god, if, if this is our entire map, zooming into the region that we're in. Oh lord, yeah. Like, I don't know, we could probably keep going that way. Like, we got the, like, the fog of war. We can't see, like, the entire map, but... I mean, I do know that in, um... The original Final Fantasy VII, you got all sorts of, like... Transportation vehicles and, and the like, so... And, like, there was things in the water. There was things on, like, different continents and whatnot, so... This is a pretty friggin' huge map. Especially considering how, like, that entire town was pretty sizable. And then we got all of this going on. Yeesh. I feel like I know exactly what this area is right here. That looks very... foreboding. <laughs> Alright, we've got to go all the way over there. I mean, I guess I could select a... show relative to the current position. Can I not, um... I guess I can't make, like, a waypoint. Not that I really need one. As long as I have a waypoint on the map, I don't need, like, a, a fable gold trail leading forward. Eh, it's fine. It's about that whole thing behind us, but I'm sure it's fine. 
sorts of things. Transmutation materials. Uh, if you don't need specific material, take note of its symbol. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I'm sure I'll be doing that later on. Alchemy is always interesting in games. Oh my god, but yeah. The first steps out of Midgar. The first steps out of Calm. What a calm and, and uh, peaceful village. Or at least it was until uh, those weird flat bottom airships came in. Bit weird, but eh, you know, is what it is. Is what it is. Hey yo, something wants to What's fight me. Mandragorian. Okay, now I need to like remember how to play as, as Cloud. I've been playing as uh, I've been playing as Sephiroth during the entire like tutorial, so like I don't really know how to play as Cloud now. Oh, no right. And your party, it's only your top three members. So who you're going to... Well, you control any of the characters that you want to control, but it's your top three. So for right now, it's Red and Aerith. And then Cloud, or uh, Tifa and Barret are in the background. On support. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, you know. For now, it doesn't really matter. Do, wait, do we get experience across the board? Oh, right, because the experience is... Based on your uh, on your team, like we all level up equally, so I don't have to even worry about like somebody being level, you know, thirty at the end of the game. Whereas like everybody else is like level sixty. This looks so damn pretty. Holy shit! This looks beautiful. I can see now what you're talking about, Zekin. If you're even still here, the uh, they saw Elden Ring. I was just like, all right, hold my beer. Hold my phoenix down. We're about to uh, give uh, Elden Ring a run for its money with how open and beautiful it is. Holy shit. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. But yeah, I want to kind of like run around in this area. Just like these open fields. But it is around that time that I need to end stream. So I guess the next time... I might run around a little bit on my own. Because I feel like there's going to be a copious amount of optional content in this. Oh, look at that little picture. It's so cute. Aerith being all like, yay, outside. Flat bottom planes, you make the rockin' world go round. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we should probably call this stream here. We'll be back on Thursday with some more of this, and I am excited. I might look around a little bit, considering... Come on, look at this. I might do it on stream, I might not. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Probably like the first time I'll, I'll do it on stream. But, uh... I feel like this game is going to have a lot of exploration, and I don't know how much of that I'm going to want to do on stream, but definitely all of the, the like actual main story missions and things like that. We're definitely going to do all of that on stream. So, I mean, if I do uh, end up exploring around a little bit, I'm going to try my best to not run into things, you know? I'm going to try my best to not run into story plot points and whatnot, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, it, we'll see how what happens. Thank you for the streams, guy. Don't have too much fun without us. I'll try. I might even do, like, Discord streams. I've done those from time to time where I'm just, like, I got the game playing, I'm, like, mute, and I'll just, like, vibe around exploring whatever world. I did that with Mass Effect, considering so many side missions. So many side missions that weren't even really all that important. But uh, I wanted to get them done. So, yeah, yeah I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, for now, we're going to have to end the stream there. Uh, we'll see if anybody is streaming on the Twitch side that I uh, can rate, that I have not rated into yeah, either in a while or haven't rated into, period. I don't have that, um, sadly I don't have that recommend, like that recommendation thing. Like I know um, Twitch is rolling out an update, some people have it, some people don't, where you can like see somebody to like recommend, or like, like people that Twitch recommends you to... Uh, look into. Mm. You can also just like search Final Fantasy. Well, I mean, probably don't want to search Final Fantasy for spoilery reasons, right? We're pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty early in this game still, so I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, we've, we've raided into Jet. Vorp? Have we raided into Vorpaline? Yeah. I think so. Maybe? Probably? I Maybe? Mean, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. Let's raid into the good old Vorpaline VT. She's got a, a spooky, creepy, cute model. So quite nice, quite nice. You all give her some love. And, uh, yeah. We'll do that. Right into 4B. Sure, sure. May as well. 
But yeah, either way, uh, Thursday we're going to be doing some more uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then on uh, Friday we got Drunk Souls and Dark Souls 2. We're actually doing it this week. So long as, you know, I don't get sick again, which, God, I hope not. God, I hope not. <laughs> that sucked. But either way, either way, we're going to be ending stream there for today. So thank you all so much for stopping on by. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff on the YouTube site. Twitch people, you enjoy uh, Vorpaline. Or, you know, do what you want to do, do what you want to do. But, you know, be nice to say hi. Quite a, a, a cool one. But either way, either way, we're ending stream. So, yes, thank you for stopping on by. And I'll see you all in the next one, all right? You all take care!